coronavirus. <laughs> why? Why? Hello, Immediately demonetized. Man, yeah. what is this, this with this group? All right. Take <laughs> every thing. time. So, what are we playing, uh, Aaron? Entire intro is just gonna be censored. Uh, we're playing uh, Mario Kart 8. What the fuck? No, we're, we're obviously. <laughs> I did sign on for this. Obviously, we're playing Dark Souls 3. Obviously. I did sign on for this. I thought this was Doki Doki Literature Club roleplay. Role play. No, guys. I'm not even dope. Not... Aren't we playing Mario? Okay. That's what we're playing. All right. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Obviously, you guys are all mistaken. We're playing Superman for the N64. No, wait, I think but you're close, you're close. We're actually playing a My Harry Hero Academia game from Mutes and Masterminds. All right, let's get on track here. No, that's Superman When Superman 64 is the closest we get, something's wrong. Yeah, yeah, Cad, I'm personally attacked. I know I'm, I can be kind of a shit, but come on now. Uh... Regardless, uh, yes... Uh, this is the session zero, possibly session one of the uh, my academic heroic nut game that what? I. Uh, I, I have been wanting to mind. ask, why did you name it that? Because when I first heard of my hero academia, I first thought of my my macadamia nut or something like I that. Do not, it just no, no, okay. no, um, no, no. Um, All right, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go because I'm getting yeah, like that. Arid gets it to about it. <laughs> what? It's just a macadamia nut. Yeah, I mean, uh, academias are not an inherently, inherently offense, offensive kind of nut. Now cashews, those cunts. Oh, oh fuck them! Yeah. Fuck them! You know how to censor your videos, cat. Oh, I don't care. I don't want money. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Yay, Man, common writer is actually standing up now. I'm pretty sure. I, 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 <laughs> Anybody knows that was just upside down. <laughs> yes, yeah, Safi. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm pretty sure at your channel size, you can't monetize videos anyway. No, there's only ten of you out there. So anyway, so yeah, we're playing My Hero Academia: Mutants yeah. and Masterminds Third Edition. Yes. Uh, I want to start things off that, while yes, this is based off of My Hero, and yes, I will be using. Uh, many canon characters, mainly because I don't want to make an entirely original cast completely off the cuff. Uh, this is going to be different than what is seen in, you know, both the, the show and the manga. Not not horrifically different, but enough. Falls under parody. Therefore, yep. fair use. Well, that and specifically is like uh, things aren't going to be exactly the same. Uh, is class 1A there? You guys are going to be class 1A. God damn it. Damn. Watch me flunk everything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I plan on the first session being basically the tests. That no, we need to be class C4. C4. C Shut the fuck up. He needs, to, he needed to do it himself, cat. <laughs> 1A is the... Isn't that like the class for the people who are really good at... Yes. Things. The... The, the tip at the top. Wow, what a shitty generation. No, no pressure or anything. Yeah, no pressure whatsoever. I mean, Wink. My, my character yeah, no, is literally this. like one of two That's flavors. Of, I, I haven't decided on which which build I'm going with for my character, so my character is technically not complete. But I yeah, have builds. I have. Fine. I have one of two flavors of useless. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> vanilla or chocolate. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get Neapolitan? That's three flavors, too bad. <laughs> I'm the th I am the third. You're, get no, th you're getting Sherbert and you're gonna like it. No, I, I think it's Tyler... even the good kind, it's like... I, th um... I think Tyler means Napoleon ice cream, where it tastes like a guillotine. Napoleon? <laughs> you mean Neapolitan? Right, you're right? little... That's the joke, Ryan, you walnut. And also, you got it wrong. There's no, There were no guillotines during Napoleon. Napoleon was the end of the guillotines. Yeah, Here. no, it's just, you know, very short. Look, I, I'm, a, I'm a meme man, not a smart man. Oh, God. Anyways. Regardless, uh, yes. Anyways, uh, you, you had a list, I thought. Yeah, so... one of the things I want to get out of the way first is, like, I think Tyler, Cat, and I have talked about this minorly, but haven't gone, like, full force. How much do you guys want a, quote-unquote, school experience? Give me actual homework. Give me... Give me the, the whole shebang. I'm perfectly fine with having some downtime, some Let me quieter sessions. Oh yeah, I'm like 
school and at home stuff. Oh yeah, let's say without things blowing let's up. Let's say that those were definitely going to be already a thing. It's just like how like accurate, I guess, do you want the school day to be? I just have a question. I have an answer. I, pref I just prefer narrative stuff. I just have yeah, a question, dude. like, uh, will you say run be prevalent in this campaign in terms of... The, the, is that a character? Who, who that's a, it's the run, song It's, it's the, the song, song that plays when awesome things happen. Exactly. Well, do, we get our, do we get theme songs? That's yes. basically the question here. I can't. I don't think we have a way to. Pl I don't think we have a way to play them. Uh, right yes, now. there is. Unless we use, use one, unless we use watch together. Roll use twenty bot. jukebox. DJ. I didn't know that. Or, or Discord music bot. There's also a Discord music bot. Rhythm bot is easy to obtain. Yeah. I can help you with that if you need. To. I already. I already know how to set it up. Oh, okay. Well, On yeah, the we one stipulation that the music will not be super fucking loud. It. You can control the volume as the. Good. Room. Cause Ryan, I know you're a fucking weeb, and you and you want your moment. <laughs> Listen, you little shit. <laughs> anyway, ha, so, I've already got my soundtrack prepped. So, yeah, I know, Tyler. I know. Mm -hmm. So you guys are fine with the, I guess if I had to describe it, the more detailed version of like a high school life. I, I prefer I less. I prefer as long as something interesting's happening. Yeah, like well, don't just give us the random ass school day that nothing happened on. Give it something, even if it's just like high school dramatic stuff. Oh, oh yeah, you could, even, say, you could even progress the week and be say, like, okay, so this was hey, say, that one, was one sec, one sec, one sec. Ryan, what was that bot called again for music? Rhythm, 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 rhythm bot. Say that was the next thing I wanted to ask. How like the kind of drama, if any, you want? Like, give me a bully. I swear to God, if you give me a bully... The piranha gonna... is here already. Oh, damn. <laughs> Why are you such a nerd? The, the, part of the, the, the piranha's a part of the party, though. We Doesn't need, mean like... Doesn't mean you can't be a shit. Well, yeah, give us a, Give us a rival like... sports team. Yeah, give us, give us like, a rival to team. Be, like, who happen to be none too pleasant. Okay. Like the, one, like the guy, like the guy that literally makes fun of us sarcastically that can copy other people. Give characters. us Flash Thompson. Yeah. All right, time to make the entirety of class 1B, excuse me. <laughs> Just make, like, an equally sized team, it'll be fine. Yeah, so we can beat the hell out of them later. Yeah. Uh, romance, yeah, your name. Um, I'm okay with that. I'd yeah. be fine with okay. that. Oh, yeah. I'll be supremely awkward because I suck at romance, but sure. Yeah, say, I just want to... Okay. Aaron, you already know that mine and your, chance, your, any of your characters can be together, right? I, I know, Max. <laughs> don't remind me. If I shoot and, myself in the foot with romance, I'll just abandon it and leave it at that. You say, because I almost want to say some of the students that I've made because I'm just so fucking excited about them, but I'm going to hold wait, off. We'll wait for attendance. Exactly. Uh, What's like uh, a... Put, say, put some... See, to, uh, Tyler already knows one of them, and oh fuck, I need to switch. Literally it to puts person. a fifteen-year-old in there, has the body of a twenty-seven-year-old. Uh, speaking um, of, one, one of the people's last names I came up with, Joe Taro, is like, well, I know who's that guy gonna be. Oh my god. <laughs> he used a random name generator, so it's not even technically his fault. Yeah. Except that he didn't just. That. Except that he didn't just hit the button again. You sure about yeah. that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's, so it's half and half and half. So. so so rivalry, both in and out of classes are fine. Romance subplots are fine. Uh, anything that's a hard no when it comes to like high school stuff. Actual schoolwork. Yes. Yeah, I, <laughs> if we want to handle it over everything that isn't the gigantic group project, how's that? No, motherfuckers. <laughs> in, in, in session eighteen, the final boss is going to be a Quizlet. Y'all motherfuckers are trying to have to get to. <laughs> 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 it's actually just your homework, and you just have all of us do it, and you turn it. <laughs> you go over, and you just figure out which one's the smartest. <laughs> Alright, we're the boss here. Cool. Yay. I'll need right. to figure out how to so, send my songs to you people. So, I'll actual schoolwork is obviously going to be an open, generalized schoolwork, and 
subplots and things that involve around schoolwork will be a thing, as well as other classes. Aw, yeah. 16 and pregnant. Let's go, boys. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that's a hard no from me. That's a no there, my guy. That's a no. I was hoping somebody else would bring it up. Thank you, Kat. That's a negative. That's a negative. Those sort of things are just weighing me down. I I got rid of them. Long ago. Uh, okay. <laughs> all, all right. All right. Colin. Call, sir. Captain. Yo? Captain. I, I'm gonna need you. To, <laughs> need you to not. Hey, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a shapeshifter. I have, I have full control of my anatomy. If I want them, I can just regrow them. That oh, is a fair no. point, but no less disgusting. <laughs> that is, that's terrible. Best but part about so being good. a shapeshifter, you never have to worry about a period. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you bathe yourself <laughs> for 30 seconds, please? <laughs> Cough to- Cough to Piranha. You know what? Sorry, God does whatever the fuck he wants. You know what? The best part is, is not needing to sleep. Those extra hours add up. Yes, the immediately is sleep and aging. That's an interesting power. Uh, speaking I, of... I mean... Yeah. We should probably actually get to the game now. No. We speaking. need to introduce ourselves, technically. Yes, let's start from the top of the Discord. Called down, starting with Amon and going from there. Just give a general description of yourself. What you know, and of and I've already talked a bit of Tyler about this because he was the one that was most up. Uh, excuse me. Vague in particular about it's that if y'all got baggage or secrets or the fuck ever, everyone out of character knows about it. J just to make things easier. But not in character, so we're not dancing around in private calls and private messages. Because none of Especially us are the... we're on recording right now. None of us are the fucking Riddler. We don't need to... <laughs> and no one's smart enough to solve a riddle anyway, so no one's gonna get it. So, and, uh... So, just, like, basic things would be, like... Your action, your given name, where you're your from... Some of your complications, if they're relevant. And general backstory. Speaking of, uh, thank Tyler, thank you for reminding me. If everyone could sometime put their actual list of complications slash motivations in their bio, it just it's, because there's not really a section I saw within the character sheet itself. Just so that okay, there how is. can I? There how is. Can I, it's oh, down at the it. bottom. It's down underneath things like it's on the first page underneath everything else. Oh yeah, notes and conditions. That, it's under stats and skills. It's oh, underneath notes, conditions, I'm... accurate attack. Okay. If you don't, never it, mind. Yeah, then. It starts. It starts with nothing, so you have to manually add. Yeah. So just fill that stuff out when you can, because you know the, that's the bread Dang and butter I'm... of being a mastermind. Dang, and I put mine in my bio. Hey, Dang, wait, hey, as long what, as whatever there. works. As long as it works. So, well, now uh, since uh, Amon changed his name, <laughs> hey, uh... I got I gotta fix it for the thing, right? <laughs> That is a fair point. Yeah, that is a fair point. Oh wait, I should probably- I'll change my name to Intern later. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> so, uh, Tib Valentine, would you uh, care to take us off with who you are? Uh, sure thing. Uh, Tib Valentine. Uh, you, uh, born and raised in New York. Of. Uh, my mother was was mundane, so I'm I'm guessing, I'm guessing my powers come for, come from my biological father who, who, who just basically conceived me after a one night stand. Oof. Oh. I, my, my basic powers, my basic powers shape shifting. I can completely control my control my own anatomy. Unfortunately for my mother, I was shape-shifting in the womb, which led to complications during the pregnancy, and and unfortunately, uh, killed her do killed her during childbirth. Mm. Oof. Uh, great. I was raised by my I was raised by my mom's friend and Marvin, uh, until I was ten years old. Then he was then he was hit by a drunk driver and died. After that, I was on my own. Uh, well, I, I got by well enough. Turns out there's a lot of money in organs, and I can just, and I can just make make and sell those really cheap. I I was making like tw twenty gra twenty grand a month uh, off twenty grand a month off of 
off of weekly off of weekly organ donations. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a note of that. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I put yeah, I I gave myself a rank of wealth for that. That's fair. But <laughs> that's that's straddling the line of shady shit. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, um, well, legally speaking, I wasn't selling them. I was I was donating them, and I was being paid for my time. Of course, th during the initial negotiations, it was decided that at time spent donating donating dozens of organs at a time is worth a lot more than than your time donating like blood plasma or something. Dump and at, kidneys. And at and at five five grand for dozens of organs. <laughs> I could be charging ten times as much, and they would still consider it a steal. Okay. So, so oh, go ahead. So I got by well enough. Of course, as as high school approached, the question of ah, what am I going to do with my life came. So now, read up on. Oh, go ahead. Uh, here's the thing where I'm going to stop everyone in their description. Of. In order to get even considered for uh, UA, for the high school that you guys are going to, you either need a letter of recommendation from a prominent figure in, in general, or able to basically do this world's version of an SAT and get the, some of the highest marks possible. It's basically just one of those things. You either get grandfathered in, or called in by someone else, or just because of your own ability, or you've done something amazing or particular that the UA reached out to you. I'm kosher, then. Alrighty. Yeah, then. it's gonna be really easy for fucking Johnny's phone. Awesome, <laughs> me. I, I, I might be Gucci. Alright, so, with that in mind, uh, please continue. Alright, uh, modifying it slightly. Yep, so, here, here. her... Uh, heard uh, heard about the thriving meta meta community over in Japan, and decided you know what I if I ever want to if I ever want to find find my biological father, getting involved in that community is the way to go. So I talked with the with one of the head doctors at the hospital I donate to, who, as you can imagine, uh, got quite a bit of of wealth, prestige, notoriety, and such from all the successful organ transplants they've been doing and convinced him to convince him to write me a letter of recommendation. Okay. At that... And so I I hopped a plane to... I uh, liquidated my assets, hopped the plane to Japan, and <laughs> here I am at entrance. <laughs> at the entrance of them. Yeah, that's impressive for a uh, high school no, freshman. No, no I, right. it's just like fucking... Just the liquidating your assets and the fact that you're a fucking shapeshifter. I just think of you like putting, making kidneys into a liquid state. <laughs> that's, base, yeah, that's basically what I do. I have a bunch of bio goop in my body and I form it into kidney or sword or kidney spine sword. gun. Okay, Alex Mercer. Basically, yeah. that, that was the vibe you were going for. There's so, one in every game. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, Colin, quick thing. Uh, how <clears throat> My Hero Academia does their quirks is that they have, like, one or two named quirks. And if you could if you could pick a name for that this specific power subset you have, what would you call it? Bioforge. Bioforge it is. Nice. Nice. Edgy, but appreciative. I like it. Did, I mean, you heard the whole backstory. It fits perfectly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you sounds like an upcoming game. Bio Forge. So to be specific, your quirk is, is that your your body is essentially a neutral zone of flesh, organs, tissues, vitamins, whatever you need, and you can make things from it, whether they be objects or organs, but they all have to be biological in nature. Uh, more like I I have complete control of my anatomy. I can like I can like a uh, shift. Shift my, shift like my organs, or like a move a bunch of like move a bunch of carbon atoms to to my skin, to, and arrange it into like a into like a diamondish ish armor lattice. Alex Mercer. Or dot mp4. 
Yep. Basically, I can I can shift all the biomass in my body as I wish. Yeah. And what would you say? Uh, because I didn't see uh, in your sheet, or it's, uh, it's in my bio. I've listed four. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yes, yeah, because I said the bio first. Because I because dumbass assumed that the things weren't there. Okay, so I'm doing good. I'm... Okay, so. Motivation of doing good, expand on that a little bit. You, because of your background and the fact that you know that you pretty much based your entire income on organ donation, that you are a uh, what's the fancy term for a good Samaritan? Philanthropist. Uh, you, I think yeah, that's, I think the other one is closer, not the one I said. Altruist. So you find yourself in uh, altruistic ways and you hope to. The better the world with your capability. Yeah, basically. Uh, prior, prior to number one, do the right thing. Prior, prior to number to... two, uh, get paid for doing it. Prior, prior to number to... three, depend uh, depends on on what specific goal, what specific other goal is is in place. Prior to number four, no kink shaming. <laughs> As is tradition. And one of your motivations is, of course, is to find your biological father. That's pretty cut and dry. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I, I really enjoy your third one, is that you have a tendency for greed and wanting a comfortable lifestyle. Again, that's the get do the right thing, but get paid do it, for doing it. All right. Admittedly, the doing the right thing takes priority over the getting paid, but I do look into ways to get to get paid for doing it. I almost forgot one of your complications that I think you said earlier. Rivalry with not Momo. I love it. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't catch that character's name, but but since since they're going with the with Momo's uh, quirk from the show, and given that in practice they are fairly similar, if if a bit divergent, yeah, it seemed familiar. Seemed uh, appropriate enough to have a rivalry there. Okay. All right, that's so, got a rivalry those... with the class, the class rep. Uh, right, no, the the see rep and uh, rep and vice rep will be settled in game. Anyway, what next so, me NPCs. Uh, <laughs> for, for those just listening, uh, complications for me. Uh, I with my shape shifting, I do not violate the conservation of mass. I need to keep enough biomass in my my system to forge my equipment. Uh, two, I I need to actually know how these how the things I make work, how to build them and whatnot. So, so for the most part, I'm limited to pre-created or pre pre-made designs that I've come up with. Flesh memo. Yeah, uh, get it, like like I couldn't just I couldn't just tag someone and then and then uh, reproduce. I, I couldn't just tag Miss Piranha and reproduce her teeth on the spot. I need to spend some time uh, fiddling with fiddling with the fiddling with the DNA, figuring out what proteins code for the for the teeth, trying out things, and then I I could get I could bring out the teeth. And one one question for clarification: Do your constructs and things that you make survive after extended periods of time away from your person? God, I um, hope so for those kidney patients. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they do. Uh, once once I make something, it's just, it's like that until it's acted upon by an outside force. Just wanted to be. I sure. mean, it, like it. I mean, like, for like if my, I mean, if I made like a brick of carbon and I ejected it from my body, it would just continue to be a brick of carbon until <laughs> until something until some force like like. Fire. To make it to make it not be a brick of carbon. <laughs> Yo, like, everything fine and chill till the girl come up and pull a piece chunk of carbon, ch chunk of coal oh out her God. stomach and say what you want. <laughs> You've been bad for Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, and, uh, any and closing? Oh, and lastly, my my fourth my fourth complication is that due to complication one. Any fl flight capable forms would require me to dump a fair bit of biomass, simply due to flight mechanics. Yeah. Uh, any last clarification or small details you want to announce before moving on to the next fellow? 
Uh, no. All I guess right. most of my walking around clothes would be fairly easily removable for convenience sake. I was gonna say, is is your flesh your clothes, or do you wear clothes? I wear clothes most of the time, so if I'm... Though, as I've considered it, if I make an actual... If I'm gonna make an actual costume, it would... It'd have to sync with my... With my transformation, or, or I just walk around in a... In, like, an organic armor that... That doesn't leave any... Any bits hanging out. Say, don't worry, with the power of anime <laughs> science, it is possible. With the power of anime science... I could just, I could just go like Kerrigan. infested Kerrigan, technically naked, but that in practice doesn't look it. Yeah. All right, uh, thank you, Miss Valentine. Up next, we have uh, Tyler and his wax shit. So let's go ahead. That, yes. You know that's more appropriate than you think because despite all of those quir- all the weird quirks that I know are here, I'm still the weirdest guy in the room. Yep. The character's real name is Alex Bata, as in, I think I said that, I think I actually said that right this time. I don't think I put enough of a pause, but yes, Bata. Disclaimer, we're not Japanese. Nope, I have a terrible accent, and so does he, actually. I did Despite take a the... Japanese class, but I got a D plus in it, because I... Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we suck at Japanese. The good Apparently news is... you can't watch anime and, <laughs> and do well in Japanese class. Yeah, it doesn't get the, it doesn't get the accent down. Which, unfortunately, Alex has a pretty shitty accent, too, despite the fact that he says he's from Japan. He's not. He is in witness protection, which is kind of how he got in. He got in by, he got into the academy, or into UA, partially on a letter of recommendation as a result of this witness protection program. Because he got caught in the crossfire of a superhero showdown somewhere in America, picked or poison. It could be anywhere from the west to the east coast. And he took a lot a lot of damage during that, getting hit with a full-out superhero attack. The kind that most organ transplants are not going to fix, unfortunately, unless you replace everything. If only you knew about Tib Valentine. <laughs> uh, wouldn't, have, wouldn't have helped much since he didn't manage to get to a hospital afterwards. Yeah. He, got, he effectively got kidnapped by a villainous scientist who was involved in that fight. And let's just say rebuilt. He is a cyborg in the most traditional sense. Parts of his body are, are robotic, although n- no external parts. Bolstered muscle, a lot of his internal organs are fake, that kind of thing. Along with certain, along with an amount of subdermal armor that retracts into places like his spine. This is secret. Nobody is supposed to know this except for his... Well, it's, they say it's a family member, but it's just a hero who's kind of gotten legal guardianship at the moment. And he's dealing with the consequences of this. That his Most of his powers do come from those cybernetic enhancements. In fact, his normal quirk is not something that you would actually find in a superhero school on its own. At least, unless they're really good at using it. His quirk is Spectrum Sight. He can see across the, electro- he can see across the infrared and ultraviolet spectrums of light. Effectively, thermal vision and ultraviolet vision. That's all it does, though. Aside from make his eyes purple. <sighs> They glow purple when he's actually using them, but they are just purple irises by default. He's not technically superhuman, but he is pushing the limits of what a human his age should be able to do. Aside from his insane jump height, which is why he just picked the name Hopper. Plus, somebody told him he looked a bit like a grasshopper when the armor was up. So how organic are you? From a bug's life? No. Ha 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 ha. Uh, uh, how, uh, Kat asked a actually somewhat decent question. How organic are you? Externally, mostly organic. Internally, it's mostly vital organs that are replaced, although there is some reinforcement on various muscles, mostly in his legs. So you're just and like a skin suit subdermal. stretched over... He's... There are... There, his bones are normal for the most part, it, aside from some cavities dug out of them that contain the armor suit the armored parts of what ends up being his costume. And, but other than that, he looks very normal, but yes, he is something of a flesh suit, his brain seems to be mostly intact, that kind of thing. Robocop, but less grotesque. Oh, also, because I didn't suspect, uh, oh yeah, and I just saw the Robocop versus Terminator for MK11 trailer, but anyway, 
Uh, I didn't ex- I didn't expect this many quote unquote American heroes. So something that's very important. While America and the Americas overall, but specifically North America, does have a quirk population. Like I said before, Japan is really as uh, as Valentine Tibbs said herself is a very heavy in the meta human, while everywhere else is a pretty more dispersed average. at below average at best. Specifically in America, people with quirks, unless you're someone like uh, Tib Valentine who makes fucking bank off it, usually tend to hide that they have a quirk due to discrimination. Because Americans are racist. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm able to hide it fairly it's easily. A good, it's a good thing Alex doesn't actually have a very big quirk aside from some funny eye color. Oh, I'm able to hide it fairly easily. I, I, I'm discreet with the organ... With the organ donations, for, at least for public, I fill out my you? taxes. Are you a criminal or something? No, oh no, not at all. Everything I do is technically legal. Technically. My, my, my dealings are just, are just We're getting off topic here. I'm discreet but not illegal, and I and I fill out my taxes with with the with the full amount. Yeah, but I mean, but, his career. Yeah. yeah, regardless, that's just something that's going on in America. It's also, oh, it's, we're not there. It's also present in a few other places, but we're I'll not get there. to those if they come up. Regardless, since uh, fucking Mugen decided to move up in turn order, uh, Mugen can go. Oh, what? I don't get to talk about my complications, I see. Oh, well, I mean, you can if you want. They're mostly pretty... I mentioned most of them. The whole witness protection thing. The scientist is still out there looking for him. They managed to free him but not catch them. And there is... There was someone else he remembers from that hazy period where, you know, months of back-to-back surgeries, kind of the anesthetics and the lack of anesthetics. But he does remember there was somebody else in the lab. And he's still dealing with the issue of am I actually human anymore? Or more specifically, am I still me? Or am I somebody else? Or something else. Bunch of heavy shit. That's it for him. That will be counteracted by the eventual Hot Spring episode. Oh my god. Oh no. no. It, it's no. an anime, and more specifically, it's a group that's vaguely so associated with Logan. It will it's fucking a, happen. It's a shounen anime, so that means. Tyler, o- Tyler's internal components overheat. Just watch. God. Or when you're... They're not waterproof. I ain't gotta breathe. Hope pops hot strings deep. <laughs> you just go with scuba diving. Oh no. Anyway, uh, next up is a uh, dragon fucker. Hey. I think one of the parents. That, that is Sir Dragon Fucker. <laughs> Sir Dragon Fucker is my father. Call me fuck. <laughs> so um... I'm assuming you're from Japan with that name. Well, if you let me finish, I can actually explain the bastard. No, hey, um, if anyone's allowed to interrupt you, it's me. I choose to interrupt you. Tyler, so anyway, you my character is uh, my character's name is Hayato Mugen Masa, and he is actually from Chicago. Um, he was born and raised he was born and raised in Chicago. His mother, but his mother is of Japanese descent. His father is uh. His father is a short man. Um, <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> um so, fuck you. Um, okay. his father is actually a dwarf. Like he suffers from, he has dwarfism. Um, okay. Interesting quirk. That's the most memorable <laughs> thing. Well, about his you. father. Well, no. <laughs> no. Fear well, the his, power of my quirk. What do you mean? Well, his father's quirk is called uh, is called uh, Forge. He can basically he basically is a master uh, blacksmith at the cost of you his life. Your father a dwarf, you fucking racist. <laughs> a dwarven blacksmith. Imagine dwarven that. Blacksmith. Um, how, how does a dwarven blacksmith hook up with an elf? Well, no, his mom is actually not enough. His uh, uh, no, no, mom. that's the joke. Oh, okay. I'm bad at this. Means... Um, anyway, sorry. His mom, uh, his mom was a, uh, she was a pro hero, she was a pro hero that, uh, eventually, but, uh, retired, and got into esports. 
And then after she finished with esports, she eventually then uh, she uh, she kind of just uh, ended up secluding herself and did a lot of played a lot of Monster Hunter. And then she, you know, then that's when she met her. Uh, wait, wait! Her so your dad is Torbjorn and your mom is Diva. <laughs> you fucking degenerate. <laughs> But his mom, but uh, the way that his mom, his mom is actually very level-headed, and uh, she's very, she's very calm and rational. The father is actually, the father is actually kind of can be like somewhat emotional. He's a dork. Of course he is. Um. So basically, uh, when Hayato was born, roughly during the infant stages, uh, his quirk developed early. When. When uh, when he sneezed, he turned into a baby wormling, <laughs> like just just right there, just poof. And um, the mother didn't really know like how to like what what was going on. She knew about quirks, but she didn't know exactly like what because like her her ability was uh she could only just manipulate fire. She had fire manipulation. She didn't know what she didn't know what this was about at all. So, um. Uh, needless to say, when he was born, uh, he sneezed. That happened. And, uh... Yeah, so that, so that being that, uh, when he matured... When he matured, uh, basically his forms began to mature along with him, to the point where he turned from a wormling to, you know, a young adult. <laughs> and, uh... His mother, being a being a former pro hero, knew some of the other pro heroes. The one that she went to was Ryukyu, the number nine hero, who could turn into a dragon as well. She saw this. She saw this. Uh, she saw this power in her uh, son's power in her son and the potential. Uh, when her son was about uh, what is it? When Hayato was about like maybe eight or nine, uh, he went to Japan to train under Ryukyu a little bit so that way he could get a further understanding of his quirk and eventually. That's when he named it uh, the Ancient Blaze. The Ancient Blaze, basically, uh, what his quirk does, it allows him to not only take some instances of uh, of her mother by means of fire manipulation, but it also entails to her being a or to him being able to shift into a uh, a dragon form. And with her mother basically turning him uh, turning him on to stuff like Monster Hunter and other video games, he took especially especially took a shining to Monster Hunter and started to. Uh, adapt his forms to the Elder Dragons that he would see in the game. Uh, hence why I have some of the dragon uh, the dragon pictures in my form. Or in in my tokens. Uh, the oh, only oh. the only com the complication between the complication with that, however, is his body is not that his you know, his body is young, the the you know, the adolescent body is capable, but not as strong as an adult body. So, needless to say, whenever he uses some of his abilities, they either wear him out or they can hurt him a little. Uh, as in some of my some of my abilities, I know one of my abilities my is called Dragon Thrower. When he throws a, when he uses that, it actually does like put a tick on some of his toughness. When he uses something, when he uses a large amount of that fire or of that fire ability, it can kind of wear him out, like tire him almost. So he only uses it in burst five, actually. Uh, uh, as far as dragon form is concerned, he uh, he is able to turn into a large creature or a lar or large dragons, and they also have. Uh, powerful capabilities as well the only problem is they're very susceptible to uh mental uh mental uh powers so any any psychic that catches them in a dragon form is gonna have a freaking field day uh that being so they're basically they're basically they basically act like like monsters they act on primal instinct they don't act on intellect um that being said, uh, Ryukyu, after after doing a little bit of training, Ryukyu told them about the uh, the uh, UA High, and she gave him a letter of recommendation to take uh, to to take to when he eventually started school there. And uh, 
I think that's about it. As far as complications is concerned, he... I have to look those up, because they're not... Because I worked on this during on my laptop during, like, uh, while I was at yeah. work. Um, so, but, um, uh, question while you're doing that. Yes. Is this Ryuku, Ryuku guy actually girl. your biological... Huh? Girl. Ryuku's a girl. Oh, well, then never mind. <laughs> No, Is this my... lady your dad? No. <laughs> um, like... Well, I mean, can Ryukyu turn into like a, into a male dragon? Because if so, no, so no, no, she can turn into a female dragon version of herself. Okay. So, yeah. And that's how I'm going to envision your transformations, basically. Now that I've seen her. Who Ryukyu? No, you, you... would envision. You... I mean, you could, but no, really no, just... Hayato's. That's what I'm saying. No, uh, as far as Hayato's transformations are concerned, you could you could envision them as what uh, what she looks like, but honestly, you could literally just envision them as elder dragons from Monster. Legit, because <laughs> that's what they're named after and everything. Alashrion, uh, S- uh, Safi Jiva, and uh, Nergigante. Fucking make more fancy names, why don't you? That's Nerd. Too- Shut up! Big, <laughs> big black multi-elemental dragon, but big generic looking red dragon, spiky hedgehog and dragon form. Say I'm surprised that has, you didn't get that has, the... minor, that has minor abilities. Say I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't get the one dragon that's known for like uh carpet bombing shit and not an and, elder and, and ganking other hunters. Not an elder dragon, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not an it's, elder dragon. Is the you hedgehog know, dragon blue and fast? No, it's not. It it can feel fast when you're running away from it, but it's pitch black. But um, as fa- as far as like him growing up, he was going to a he was going to high school in Chicago, spe- specifically uh somewhere in Arling, like somewhere in Arlington Heights. But uh, due to you know his quirk, and then also due to you know his attitude, not even his attitude. He just got picked on a lot, and uh, people he just kind of. He just kind of started just, like, fighting back a lot more and, you know, setting set fires and stuff like that. So his mom basically said, nah, we're gonna... You're gonna we're go gonna, stay with your auntie and uncle and Yeah, it, yeah ba- uh, in Japan, Beat me basically. to it. Yeah, basically. Everyone's scrambling for the same joke. Yeah, basically. This so, is the story all about... <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of piece that together how you will. You can approach her with a letter of recommendation... Uh, then she, uh, then they all moved to Japan, and the rest is kind of his. All right. Um, are we so, doing appearances as well? Did you? No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'd ask about your motivations and complications stuff. You already talked about them a bit. Just be sure to put them down in writing, and I'll look at them later. Okay. Motivation. He just wants to be like. He just wants to be like the like one of the greatest heroes ever. Gotcha. Number Shonen one. as fuck. Shown in the hey, there's nothing wrong with being base shown. I'm uh, just gonna so let you all know fire. now. I may or may not try to it. like. I may or may not. Go ahead. A lot of fire, and you want to be the best. Are you just endeavor? <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, uh, and uh, I don't, I'm not saying I will try to do this, but like there have been instances, like based on like how well I RP, there have been moments where I just like accidentally bogarted myself into being the main character, so I hope I don't do that here, but at the same time, it would be kind of cool. So... <laughs> Alright, Natsu. Yeah. Eh? Hey, hey, Natsu... N- N- Natsu's cool. D- D- don't compare him to that. Oof. Oof. Wow. Wow. You're, you congratulations, you boxed your... You gotta earn the Natsu comparison. You're, you're boxing yeah. yourself into being Mita. Yeah. So first we had a Not Momo, now we have a Natsu. <laughs> oh. <Eat on> fish. <laughs> please, please do not sue. Please do not sue. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, we're getting all, sued over this. We are getting of... sued by somebody oh, for something. My god. I'm gonna Stop get sued it. by Toei. I just know it. Stop <laughs> it! If anything, you're gonna get a fucking advertisement gig from Toei with how much you fucking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. Why? Copyright well, right pending. <laughs> uh, that is that is the character I will call High Octane Muramasa. Uh, up next, motherfucker. We don't have probably one of the don't, 
Don't you fucking dare. I'm the GM. I can butcher you however I want. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> like, I like it as a big name. High Octane? <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice uh, play on your, it's a decent play on your first name for somebody for at least for my character who barely speaks Japanese. I guess that could work. Yes, I, all right. If now you could be, you could be hyping me up with something else. You could be hyping me up like, yeah, it's high octane. And I'm just like now. Right. Moving on from that. Next up, we have probably one of the uh, short, sweet, to the point characters, a Mr. Johnny Stone. Yeah. What about it? Go ahead and describe yourself, Mr. Stone. Well, I'm pretty laid back, you know. Life's been kind of tough, but, you know, I don't let that keep me down. Mother died when I was a kid. Um, my father is an A-list hero, and uh, she died because me and her were both abducted. And uh, the nemesis that he was fighting at the time, the architect, uh, put us in two separate locations, and he had to choose. He chose me. And um, after my mother died, he proceeded to murder the other, the nemesis, which didn't really uh, bode well for him in the superhero community, so he kind of retired after that. And, you know, for the last 10 years, it's been kind of great. Up until that shit comes and bites you in the ass. And he's been recently found dead. So... My thing is trying to figure out who killed him. Um, he did, you know, still have a lot of hero friends, and that's how I got my my ticket to this academy. They said, you know, if you want to figure out what happened, you know, train, get good. Yeah, get the same, hero community. This is the best and most legal way to do it because we don't want to take you in for vigilantism. Pretty much. Because they know I'd probably do it anyway, so might as well give me the means to do it rather than me just taking the means in my own hands. And also, uh, are you an American as well? No, actually, I'm Japanese, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I will be right back. I'm going to grab food. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm like, up. I'm the quintessential Japanese student. Okay, Japanese. I need to eat it. Uh, Stone was take. Uh, Stone was the last name given to us because of my father's court. It was um, called the Foundation Cracker, and it got passed on to me. Okay. Um, complications. Uh, he wants revenge for his father's death. Um, I'm not going to say he's going to do it at any means possible, but he is going to do whatever he can to figure out what happened, who did it, and what was going on. Um, as far as in his backstory, um, Aaron, I've already let you know, but the nemesis he was fighting was called the Architect. Yep. He was a mastermind of puzzles and traps. And uh, in theory, he was killed, but his remains were never recovered. Um, there's my father's foes, of course, being a, a former A-list hero. He had a lot of enemies that he made along the way, which, you know, possibly fall on me just from being related. Um, then there's my family's shame which, you know, my father, quote-unquote, murdered someone. It's kind of a no-no as a hero. So, you know, that, that kind of falls on my head. And I, I, I try to be like my father, but I try not to be like my father, if that makes sense. And, of course, my father's murderer is still out there. So, like, and there's... You're still, there's... Uh, and you're still somehow a less tragic Todoroki. Yeah, but, like, all in all, like, I kind of take everything with, with a was tried you know i'm i don't try and let my anger get to me i'm i'm a very light-hearted guy because like seeing what my powers have are able to do with what my father was able to do I, I can be pretty powerful sometimes and the last thing i want to do is accidentally kill someone yep all right so we have a we have a one-man wrecking crew i'm gonna wreck it yep so okay ralph good because i'll be creating a bunch of permanent things that will probably need destroying at some point now we have cats with the uh, undyne god damn it i mean and spear of justice ends up in the sound uh, <laughs> absolutely 
So, uh, Pan Pan Piranha, what is your given name? I am Pamela Sharks. Mm -hmm. My. And where do you hail from? Okay, we're um, at this point. I think they're gonna nickname our class the Yankee Doodle Dandies or something. Cause like, what the fuck? Also, <laughs> <laughs> yes. At least, at least not all of us are American. But it's so many. I'm Japanese. Why yeah. Do so many are Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think like I want to eat my sushi and people are bringing me a burger. <laughs> why, why do I'll they eat that if you don't want it? Hamburger why country. Do they, why do they put other in hats and call it macaroni? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so hailing from Sabuku. hailing from uh, any Japanese audience members, we apologize. Also, they're not. They're not. Yeah, what? What? There's ten of people here. I guarantee none of you are freaking Japanese. <laughs> mushy mush. Watch, they watch. They all are. I would appreciate attention, but anyways, so freaking. All right, Pan Pan Piranha. Her her power. She's a piranha. Yeah. Quirky. Yeah. So far, I think other than Johnny Stone, you're the only. Mutation quirk. I didn't ask to be born, but living is worth dying. Anyways, her, her her she comes from the the only state that would appreciate the family name Shark, Florida. Louisiana. Oh, I was gonna say Louisiana, but that too. Florida, and you know Florida's got enough shit. Honestly, it's not as bad for as other states when it comes to bullying, because Florida's got so much shit going on as it is. You know what? It's canon now. There's one guy in there whose quirk is just called Florida, man. Oh, this, he was actually, he's actually like, yeah, like, my family fights him a lot. He's just a vigilante because he just refuses to do what anyone says. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Manda! Florida man's power. Every single news article. He's <laughs> just... What the fuck happened? Oh, shit. That was a lot of... Okay, hold on, guys. Shit. Aaron knocked his desk over. Bonsai. But yeah, uh, for those who are listening, so Florida, you know, but anyways, she comes from the shark superhero family. Their whole shtick is that they're all shark based, like shark while mutants. We're, while we're waiting for the DM to come back, we could actually uh, just switch topics for a second to how many Americans are there actually in this group? One, <laughs> two, three. Technically, one. Technically me. 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 So, so three? Technically four. Uh, technically four, but I'm faking being Jap. Ah. Okay. Or so at four. least or at least faking being having grown up. Well no, actually no, I'm faking being arrived here with family, so yes. Four. Okay, so four faking out of having lived here for a few years. Wait. So yeah. So we're all gonna somehow end up into class one A, the best superhero student class in the entire country. There's a message in here that rings of Matthew Perry. But U S A. U S A. I mean, no, 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 it's God bless America. I mean, there is also the whole, the whole idea list. that usually foreign exchange students tend to be in the upper tier since they have to be to get to be foreign exchange students. They do. <laughs> you have to actually be worth a damn. <laughs> So it does actually kind of make sense that the foreign students would be up there. Yeah, because they had to fight harder just to get there. I just noticed that Aaron is just now named herself poor, poor intern. <laughs> yeah, that's been there for a minute. Okay, I didn't I'm notice. Back. I've been well, well, Anyways. Back intern. Repeat everything from when I've left starting now. So, yes, yeah, so, come from the fam superhero family, the Sharks family. It's, you know, dad's an A-list hero, older brother, A-list hero, the two sisters still pretty high list here they're more of a duo because they're both not as cool as the brother brother's great white dad is the hammerhead and then we have mako and uh nurse mom's a puffer fish no she's a dolphin we don't know uh but anyways and i the youngest of this family poor poor pan she she was born a piranha so she's been getting the sh to shit stick for from not only the world because she's a mutant, but even from her own family. So she's grown up just she's not allowed 
to take shit from anybody. Cause if Aha, you're freshwater fish, you can't swim in Florida ocean. <laughs> exactly. Because, because it burns you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I had to fight that shit because they're bitches. I swam in the ocean to tone myself, fucker. <laughs> Local fish too angry to drown. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so she got the recommendation to come to Japan from her family because uh, it's it's a good you know a it's a good school and b it gets her the fuck out of here. A uh, question for you because your family is doing some good shit. Would you say some of some if not most of your family are? graduates of the high school or is it their, their specific Florida certification they have? Sisters are Florida certified because they were, again I told you the shit, but the older brother and the dad they did come, they did uh, do some, they did come here since it's the world's leading superhero school so they did come here and graduate from uh, the Hero Academy Just wanted to be sure So, But fuck the sisters, mostly them and the older brother too, he because he's a snarky asshole. But yeah, so I'm here to prove myself. So I'm gonna uh, my my goal my goal is not only to be a f great fucking hero, but is to be so good that I my fame as a hero ex like drowns out the fact that I'm even related to the sharks. Ah, a petty goal. I was waiting for one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at this that I'm better than them. And nobody even connects me to them. That's how good I want to be. And my social and my other my complications are a, um, piranha. Oh, well, <laughs> that's all strength. No, the one. Well, basically, my quirk, my problems are piranha. A, I need to at least it's I can, I need to breathe underwater at some point. Like I have a little water aqua inhaler that I have to constantly be hitting, which is basically a vape. Oh my god, I have no no nope. It's an inhaler. <laughs> Uh, no, you just slap no, up you have, your. You, you have, just you have spoken <laughs> into existence, and now it is so. You have yeah, a, you have a vape. You, you have a water vape pen that you slap up to your gills. You breathe in deeply, then proceed to yell extremities. <laughs> uh, no, not extremities. That's creepy. Arm. <laughs> that's, that's Valentine's Day. She needs to be arm to come out of her mouth if she wants to. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, her other thing, she also has to sleep underwater because she would drown and she would like suffocate in the middle of the night. Uh, her other thing is because piranhas are highly social, like highly, highly so, because you know, prop pack mentality. She's afraid to be alone. She does not like being alone. Yet is also an asshole. <laughs> yes, she's a very rough. Because again, she's had sh get, gotten shit all her life, so she makes sure yep. she has to defend. She has, she's very defensive. So, so, you're, so, you're saying, so you're saying your character is very abrasive, but also craves social interaction? Yes! And welcome to my hell. Congratulations! <laughs> we have our tsundere, tsundere fish lady. Yes! <laughs> Best girl! Anyways. <laughs> okay, fish dip. Pro proceeds to lunge across classroom. <laughs> Clank. Clank. nothing but metal. <laughs> Kanye West is in your area. Anyways, but, and her, uh, you, you forget I have penetrating too, but anyways, uh. And I have, like, what, impenetrable eight? Oof. <laughs> wow, oh, fuck you. <laughs> well, like, okay, it's your one power. <laughs> he has a lot of powers. Anyways, and her, what's her other complication? Uh, da 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 da. I wrote it down for you, uh, let's see here. Uh, it is. Uh, oh yeah, it's down here. Oh yeah, besides getting compared to her family, because they're like, hey, aren't you one of the sharks? And she's like, fuck off. Uh, a piranha, not a shark. Afraid to be alone, and yeah, that was pretty much it. She's Pan Pan Piranha. Pa okay. Pamela Piranha. Alright. Anything else before we move on to our last person? Uh, nope. Alright. Phoebe Crilly? Is that how you pronounce that? Phoebe Crilly. Phoebe Crilly. 
But yeah, Phoebe Curly was a uh, prodigy child born to a poor family in Ireland. Ooh, an Irish girl. Yep. I'm not going to do the accent. <laughs> we aren't asking you to. It's just, hey, some diversity. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, uh, she was born to a poor family in Ireland. Uh, she was a prodigy, so she was well ahead of her grade mo for most of her life. Uh, she heard about heroes and really admired them. And uh, she liked making things. And she's decided that she wants to make gear for heroes, which is her motivation. And uh, so she decided she wanted to go to the hero school. And since she was poor and unable to travel there to take the test, uh, she decided to study how to fly. And then she built her own helicopter. And then flew to Japan. That's pretty admirable. I mean, with her power, it wasn't that hard to build her own helicopter. With so, her power her uh, so, Miss uh, Krilly, what's your certification? Points back to helicopter landing outside of UA. I made that and flew from Ireland. <laughs> yep. Please, I have nothing left. <laughs> I mean, it didn't cost her anything. She could make all of the parts and the fuel. Yes, but you're also in Japan alone. True. There is that. I, I'm getting Ochaka vibes from you that your main motivation other than creating is making money. <laughs> I don't know, just nom a, nom a potato, turned it into a gold nugget. Yeah, th there is that. <laughs> and uh, let's see, my uh, motivations and complications. Motivation, like I said, is making gear for heroes. And the reason she wants to actually go to a hero school to be a hero rather than to be an R&D is because she wants to test her stuff herself. And uh, her other complication is her rivalry. Uh, with uh, Valentine. Not not just with Valentine, though. She, she's, she, she has a rivalry with Valentine, and she's just generally competitive when it comes to the things she makes. So she's she, she'll have a rivalry with anyone who makes things, really. So what do you do? Oh, I make poetry. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Just start scribbling on paper that you print from your arm. Well... I was meaning makes things in, as in, like, inventions. Things I know, that my character actually makes. I, I was being facetious. Yeah. All right. So, we got our cast, and let me just do a count of... I wonder how long it's going to take me to call the not-Japanese person for being Japanese. Wow. I don't know how I managed to do it, but between the PCs and the NPCs, it is an even split of gender. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. All right. So. So now you all know each other. Uh, before we get any deeper, uh, now's the option where do any of you want to know each other before this? Uh... But that's up to whoever wants to Stay looking at the Americans and the two Japanese. Nope. No, I'm uh, good. I didn't have any intention of knowing anyone beforehand. I just I'm figured I'd, I just figured I'd put the ideal out there in case anyone wanted to do anything. No, I am there. open to the I am open to the idea. I might, I might have heard, I might have heard of Wrecking it. Ball. I might have heard of Wrecking Ball and his kid, but no, I've never met him. I think we can say for sure that everyone in this party knows Wrecking Ball and Sun to some degree because of just the pure famous. <laughs> everyone knows about, at least to some degree, more so the Americans of the Shark family because they are now a prevalent party. And everyone oh, knows, oh. at least to some degree, Hayoto's mother. Hayato? She was a pro as well. Yeah, she was a pro, and she and then she uh, she was a pro hero turned pro uh, pro gamer. Yes, and I'm pretty sure at least uh... and my father too. Sorry, I didn't remember. My father, seeing as how he's a master blacksmith at the cost of his you know his height, he mm -hmm. does also make like uh, you know. R he was the prime R and D for quite a while. Yes. So pretty sure at least someone in this school is subscribed to your mother. 
<laughs> At least a few people. Phoebe is probably a, probably a fan of, of Torbjorn. Bro, your mom's personal. Yeah. Hey, bro, your mom's personal channel's great. Okay, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honest, you know, because she Man. only cares about her fans. Wink, wink. Fuck you. <laughs> gotta, gotta love that fan if channel. Some, if someone ever said, "Hey, man, your mom's only fans account is uh, is excellent," yeah, I'm I'm nuking that whole school. That's that's it. That's it right there. That's it. <laughs> So we've got our finale. I yeah. gave your mom fifty dollars on her account. She showed me her tits. Yeah, that's, yeah. That that that, that person yeah, that's, is that's, dead. That's the one right there. The Bay Bag Eagle guy's like, "Hey, I saw your mom's tits online." All right. So with that Come kind of everybody take care of boy. Yes, oh, yeah, uh, everyone. One, one, one more thing. One more thing. Yeah. My character is extremely loyal, so yep. if you do become friends with him, and someone does say someone to, uh, say something to you about that, he'll stop you from doing anything and then punch them himself. <laughs> okay, That's so it. we're gonna get along. <laughs> say anyone who has a minor celebrity or moderate celebrity as a family member, if not already, go ahead and put that into complication slash motive, because that fame can be used against you as well as for you. You want to get better at using it for you make sure to take benefit yeah benefit the the uh the benefit advantage uh johnny stone has that i i believe you have benefit too if i remember correctly <gasps> excuse me well that is an introduction of everyone glad to know y'all only took an hour and a half hey Gotta get that New stuff record. out of the way. Now try to kill us. Alright, rocks fall, you're all dead. <laughs> I've got impervious, I just kinda pull out of the rubble. They're they're, turn... they're they're hyper rocks. I turned into a dragon. Great. I was, I was dead with just the normal rocks. Hyper now rocks. now just now I'm a ghost piranha. Look what you've done. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Ghost piranha, I will <laughs> Ghostbuster Rock, fuck you. We we call that a boo? It's a ghost touch. It's a ghost touch rock. Oh my god, it's the meteor from Danny Phantom. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, but I have connected, not um yeah, the other one. Close enough. Potato to me. Now, uh So uh, another thing that's on the list I have here, though this list was made for a fifth edition game, so obviously things are gonna be changed a bit. Are other than no no I shouldn't say other than the obvious because I don't want to assume that is there any hard nose for this game does no one does anyone have well, nothing they we went want over the I thought we went over the... well the, the, that was specifically just for what you guys wanted out of the high school setting this is just for in general okay anything we don't want to end up fight can can we avoid human trafficking like I I didn't think we were going there in the first place but I'm just gonna put that out there. If, if say if no one wants to see human trafficking, I will be sure not to include that. Or if there is human trafficking, we we have the rights to kill them, but not the like, like, Let's keep it to like meta-human type human trafficking, where it's like fantastic enough you can discount. Let's not go like uh, the purple man raping a girl dark, but let's just keep it like <laughs> purple man. Hello? We've been we have been over this already, Aaron, and I'm not oh, going over right, kill. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going over let's, kill grave again. No, it's Sorry. yeah, it's uh, let's just keep it like you know, it's like ha, using them as weapons, let's keep, dark. Let's keep it. Let's keep it PG thirteen at darkest. Oh, okay. One, one eyed, one horn, flying purple people eater. Yeah, no, it's just oh, sorry. It's just, it's just whenever I think of purple man, I think of man behind the slaughter. That's purple guy. I know. He, you know the worst thing is the prince. I just can't unsee David Tennant. <laughs> yeah, that's the right purple man. I mean, I'd be fully consenting with David Tennant. Gross. No rape. No Depends. Is he using his Doctor Who voice or his regular voice? Either one. David Tennant, if you're one of my 10 subscribers, somehow I love you. <laughs> Wonderful. 
You are somehow <laughs> going to get a response from one of your subscribers who's going to change their username to David Tennant just for that. And, troll and now I fo I mean. and I and now I foiled their plan. Ah. Now you must take on the mantle. <laughs> you must take on the mantle, <laughs> David Tennant. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't take this stupid helmet off. You're stuck with common. So. PG-13 at darkest, no rape stuff, obviously, wasn't going to put that in, no human trafficking in general, just to be safe. Anything else hard-nosed? Nope. Uh, uh, I'd like to request no, like, play-by-play -play sex scene. Obviously. That'd just be Faded to black for everyone. I am black. not about to I RP with you people. And go with that. I guess fade, to, fade to black with cartoon sound effect, got it. Why would we even be trying to do that and we're like 15 we're, year olds? I mean, we're high schoolers. High because schoolers we're, because shit. we're 15. That, Listen, at yeah, 15, it's, all it's, we ought to be looking at is, is kissing. <laughs> like, that's probably how it's going to turn okay, you out. Clearly because have a, you clearly <laughs> have a very unrealistic view of, of teenage no, sexuality. Yeah, I mean, I mean, dude, dude yeah. at 22, I'm barely comfortable with kissing, so. You're 22? Is it not a, older or younger? Which did you expect? No, like IRL, you're 22. <laughs> yes, older or younger? Which do you expect? Older. <laughs> why? Why does everybody think it's I'm older than I? You have a certain yeah. level of narcissism in your like soul. <laughs> I, I, okay, wait, wait. I, was, I was surprised to find out you were younger than me. I, I hope I yeah, because I'm older. Because so I'm older than you. I, yeah, I just I literally just graduated college like last week. Oh, I cannot be the old man in this room. Please tell me no. How Max, old are you? How old are you? 29. Yeah, you're the old man in the yeah, room. You're, you're old I man. am? Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> geezer. How many times you have to teach this lesson, old man? <laughs> I don't want to be a burden. No. <laughs> that I, yeah, I'm... yeah uh, for anyone who hasn't you're known Ryan for an extended period of time, he's scarily good at random voice acting. Anyways, let's probably actually jump to the game now, since oh, it's, yeah. like, late. I had, I had one thing that I was trying to say for a bit. Yeah, yeah, so uh, go ahead. I would, like, I would like to request not, no in-depth descriptions of veins or arteries, since I have venophobia. Other than that, I'm fine. Uh, I wasn't even going to put that in mind, but now that let's, I know I'm not keep, to say it, it's Let's keep the gore to a minimum. I yeah. will... I'm looking at you, shapeshifter. I will try to avoid speaking <laughs> of veins. Yeah, it's just... Leave it no. to the viscera everywhere and end. Yeah, yeah, say, no, instead it's going to be Valentine pounding her chest twice, puking out two arms, <laughs> holding them in her hand, say, I'm armed, fuckers! Oh, That's fine, as, as long as they're not, like, many arms. <laughs> you're, you're good. <laughs> fine. So, when she loses those arms, does she count as being disarmed? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Let's get to the fucking game. <laughs> this is an important step, cat. Because these games are meant to be fun, and I don't want to put in things that'll make it not fun. You don't want this to end up on our slash RPG horror stories. Thanks, that too. I've watched too many neckbeardia videos to have that fear. Um, I honestly don't have anything that I have any real issues with that hasn't already been touched upon, so yep. I'm cool. Oh, and uh, another thing to get to, if any of y'all have to leave the game for any reason, uh, it will be ruled out that you are expelled. For one never, reason or another. Never to return. Yeah, because Aizawa is barely much known for that kind of behavior. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, well, well, then! <laughs> That's. <laughs> Fuck! Now we, now, we gotta, now we gotta put everything on Spotify. <laughs> no, Ryan, you're fine. You're fine. I've, I've Unless someone else has a specific problem with that, I don't know. I've, yeah, I'll try to not do that. I'll Anyway, can move you're it fine, on. You're fine. Hey, wait, so, what the fuck did I just miss? Don't worry about Nothing it. Nothing important. <laughs> Nothing important. Don't you worry about it. Don't worry about it. Your timing was perfect, though, I'll say that. Oh, yeah. that and uh, as of right now, uh, Scott, uh, uh, for people who know Scott. You got for, one backup. Yeah, for people who don't know Scott, he is a backup, and I'm also going to offer the same extension to 
Logan and Nika if they wish to join as well. But I'm keeping it max six because this is currently the largest party I've ever had. Yeah, it's probably so, safe. So I apologize in advance. That's why I have a Word document up of all you guys and all the other students I made. I need to make more, etc. That's also why I stuck with the canon teachers. Less work for me to do. Fair enough. All right. Uh, any closing remarks, last word kind of deal before we dip our toes into a first session. This is a senior prank like at a superhero school. Ah! <laughs> it, dep it depends. You asked. <laughs> well. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, not getting to pull one because we're like freshmen, but. Say, you all remember the story of a high school in Arkansas who the senior prank was they let about a dozen cattle into the high school? Hmm. Imagine that, but the, super, the cattle are superpowers. <laughs> yeah, just uh, the senior pranks are as vivid as there are quirks, which means yes. Good God, we warped into another dimension. They're being, un they're being rather unoriginal this year. <laughs> <Being rather original. laughs> uh -huh. Oh, why is everything glued to everything? Damn it, Steve. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. <laughs> the guy with taped shoulders in the background. <laughs> All right, so everybody, uh, Aaron, you might want to nail down our time period. I'm assuming. Did you say this was before the class 1A that is in, act in the actual show, uh, or yes, are we just assuming that they don't exist right now and we're in that oh, time yes. period? Uh, two things from almost forgot to mention. Thank you, Tyler. One thing, this is before pretty much the actual events of My Hero, which means that All Might has not suffered that horrific injury yet. Oh, he wow. Is, he yeah. is still in his prime at the moment. Oh, shit. Yep. For the I moment. I completely forgot if he actually teaches when he's in his prime, or if he started doing that after. No, he started doing that after. Aww. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> make I make him have one. Algebra. Give him he's one, he's like... Our <laughs> he's our substitute. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I was originally planning on having him to be at the school facility for some capacity. And, he's, uh, a member, he's a member of the faculty, just not a teacher. Yeah. And also, another thing. He's, uh, the, gu he's I, the guidance counselor. <laughs> I was thinking about... That's perfect. I, I, well, I, actually, I was, no, I I was going to say sorry for interrupting, <laughs> but all right, then I have no regrets. I am here to give you guidance. <laughs> actually, he was kind of a shitty guidance counselor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is before he figured out he sucked at it. Midoriya, don't worry. Here's your training. Just move around trash for 20 days. Got that That's beach it. clean, though. <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah, it, he young. That's it, young Midoriya. Now move eat that my hair. Eat my That's hair. It. Eat this. <laughs> that doesn't this seem like odd eat to it. you? Well, Fuck I'm, not sure if it's a shitty, I'm not sure that shitty guidance counselor, that shitty coach. I mean, it's one in the same. He, he, he's weird. To be fair, his that training was mostly so his body didn't just complete red mist itself when he the first time he used it. At the same yeah, time, he could have at least yeah. taught him how to throw a proper punch. <laughs> Regardless, we were not talking about front. that. Uh, <laughs> next thing is that uh, Tyler mentioned this to me earlier. Do you all care whether or not we are one to one with uh, pop culture? What do you yeah, mean? That's fine with me. Such as things like... Marvel Comics and DC Comics exist. Oh. Stuff like that. You know, things like someone playing Warcraft. That's fine. Yeah. Or, or, the fact that I'm about to get, or the fact that I'm about to get sued by Toei. Yeah. Huh? He's, he's... Uh, I, don't, I don't mind much. All right. Creating, so, creating a fictional pop culture is... It's a tricky business. Yeah, I'd say that, and it's already at least one thing is one to one because fucking Monster Hunter over here already kind of confirmed one video game franchise existing. And that just that just for some reason that just made me think my character can pirate re pirate physical objects. Oh good god! 
You wouldn't you download you a car, would, would you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'd make it out of lipids. I would totally download a car if I had the capability. Yeah, exactly. So, anything else, or any other questions from anybody, or...? Let's get this going. Alright, say, I'm not gonna promise a very extensive session, because, like I said earlier, uh... You I, 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 on Thursday and Friday. Yeah, say, I work Saturdays to Wednesdays. <laughs> so, when, when, so, when the plan was confirmed for my hero, I was like, Okay, fuck, I just went to full-time, and this is my first week and my feet are killing me. Shit. So prepare for improv and ad hoc. Yep, so, you know, it, I mean, for anyone who's been through Logan's games, you'll probably be fine. <laughs> I've been through Scott's games enough to know that improv and ad hoc can work. Uh, Scott's game. Anyway. So, are I'm we all... That, I'm glad that his games are associated with that and not mine. Uh, well, I, I haven't been in yours that weren't somewhat planned. I think. If those weren't planned, you tricked <laughs> You tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are we all even Stevens? Well, yeah, my I'm name is jo know. Johnny Stone, but yeah, sure. Uh, I could be one of those people. My, st my Steven character is Sterling, so... Oh god, Sterling. <laughs> He'd have fit, but nah. Oh yeah, say so he was the perfect fit, but regardless. So... And I didn't prepare any items ahead of time, so I'm looking up a list of things. Yeah, you're fine. Say, uh, there's probably not going to be too much dice rolling, other than maybe skill checks and the occasional punch, but who knows. Regardless, uh, Jill Valentine, are you prepared for uh, PG-13 body horror? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> well, have you ever seen John Carpenter's The Thing? Yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> I think a better comparison. Have you seen the prequel to John Carpenter's The Thing? There's a prequel. I've not. It's it's not good. Anyway, uh... I, I was referring to to my character being misnamed. Oh. It just it's oh. just a thing that that always happens. All right. So, uh, Elder Weeb, are you ready to fight? Bitch. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> uh, mistake of Creation Hopper, are you prepared? What the fuck? I'm not wow. a mistake of creation, I'm a mistake of science, I'll have you know. But yes, I'm <laughs> Mistake of Creation is my father's name, please, hey, call me hey, hey, I, I oh. did not make him. Creation is my power. <laughs> I did not make him. Yeah, no, my, mistake, <laughs> my mistake of a creator is not you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know where they went up, but I'll never see him again. Uh, Johnny Whetstone, are you prepared? Whetstone. I'll show you a whetstone. Hug! Oh, oh, <laughs> living lightning, are you prepared because you're still on the board? Somebody help. I didn't, Somebody. that's not my, not my business. Eric. Fizzled out of existence. Shorted <laughs> out. Snaps. Uh... Pan Pan Piranha Plant. Yes. <laughs> Are you... All right, Guppy, let's do this. To say, if I had fucking... If I was better with, like, wordplay, I'd just say, like, a sentence full of peas, but I'm dumb. Anyway, and, uh... Irish Momo. <laughs> Irish Momo. Irish Momo. Stop. Ready. <laughs> what? I Irish Momo is ready. <laughs> I. <laughs> why? Why am I thinking of the Devil Man again? I know she really is. If I was a bad pro here, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it. Now would I? <laughs> Where did Sammy come from? Hello. The damage been replaced by a morgue again. <laughs> so. Why are you upside down? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we start in the illustrious <coughs> and widely respected city of Tokyo, Japan. Not only the capital 
of Japan, but the capital of the, the, for lack of a better term, metaverse. This is where quirks originate. And for anyone who doesn't know, the difference between a person with a quirk and without a quirk is a missing joint in the pinky toe. Regardless, uh, ever since it has became, you know, the, the first boom of quirks in Japan, of course, spread out to the world, of course, came the issues of, you know, good people and bad people and blah, blah, blah. And then if, everyone knows the story of how one for all became all for one and how that heroism, pure heroism versus pure evil has led pretty much to where we are in the state of the world now is that in order to ensure that people with good intentions are doing their job by the book there are the creation of many hero schools across the globe whether they be in florida or chicago or not in ireland i think i don't know uh there, there's at least minor ones in several parts of the globe but the major one that's the bee's knees and it's basically the harvard of the Cork world is UA Academy uh, taught by many illustrious officials both pro heroes and or or people that are heavily associated with the pro hero and where pretty much every person that's ever graduated from there has gone to at least some sort of fame whether they stay within you know C or B tier or amazing engineers or you know are part of the top 10 of heroes such as uh, the current uh, number one hero uh, Atoshi Nori Yagi aka All Might <clears throat> you are all here for varying reasons for glory, for honor, for money for redemption for revenge or you know just because it was something you wanted to do regardless of the reason and regardless of how you got into the UA Academy, you are among the hundreds of people that have either applied or got called in to the UA Academy and are on your way to the actual welcoming ceremony. That after the welcoming ceremony, uh, a day after the welcoming ceremony, of course, is the exhibition test, which which you all know is that depending on how good you do in the test you're in the classes or at least depending on how well you do the different classes they have and of course everyone wants to get into 1A because that is where a a anyone who's anyone who's ever been in those classes have achieved have at least at one point gotten within the top 10 of heroes if not of higher prestige so all six of you are within, like I said, this massive horde of students of uh, that look normal, that have weird looking, that, that are floating, that have animal qualities, that have elemental qualities. It, it, it's, a, it's a chaotic rainbow of uh, diversity here. Mm. Okay. Me... Well, I can pick up a few of these while I'm here. It's a rainbow. Of, it's a rainbow and three spec. <laughs> rainbow and three spectrums. <laughs> Just kind of stoically stand above the crowd. <clears throat> Fucking actual Japanese sushi. Um. So wait, are we actually, so wait, are we actually, are we there now, or are, because uh, like I was, I, I don't know if we could do a thing where. Panic like, woke no, up like, late. Panic or... woke up late. Panic woke up late. Running. <laughs> <laughs> or like you know we're like they kind of or you know like we're we're arriving there you know what I'm saying yeah you're we're... you're all arriving onto the UA campus and are being led to if anyone has watched the anime pretty the pretty much the their version of the auditorium where it's My got minis dropped me off in her uh, in her Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing this out there, I'm in my untransformed state, so I just kind of look like a normal guy, but I've got those giant yellow and black blocks on my, my forearms. Mm. I think and, my character's uh, technically homeless, so she was probably just living nearby in a shelter she built. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much looking like like my token. Yep. Why am I upside down? What the fuck? 
I don't know. Everyone got, upside down everyone got, got turned and I don't know what was up with that. It flipped upside down? No, no, good. Um, Keanu <laughs> looks, to, looks to be about like 15. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Fuck. Why me? Oh wait, there I am. <laughs> what? The hell? I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> You son of a bitch! Oh god, we're all moving. Oh god, we're all getting turned around in this crowd. It's nuts. Yeah, it's a it's a very uh crowded crowd for lack of a better term. Cause I can't know. flip my token around because it's blocky. But every time I click it, I, to, I hate you. I uh, change the zoom. That'll let I, you click yeah, the thing. I just, I just you managed to cut the piranha in line. Anyway, um, Hayato stands at about the average height of a 16 year old. Like Seven that. foot three, understandable. Get the fuck. <laughs> hey, no. I'm actually like 6'2, so. <laughs> he stands uh, at about, uh, you know? like 5'11. Five, like five you know, out of all the dice I have, I don't have a fucking d6, so I'm just gonna roll this because that's the closest so, I have. To one. Just, just to be sure, the the canon is that we are, we are entering the school. Yes. Like, as yeah. as we are, we are just now entering high school. Yeah. Roughly. Yes. Okay. Y'all are from like the 15 I, to 16. I, I was just thinking, like, first year of high school, like the typical age first year of high school is 14 to 15. I bumped up a little I, bit. I, I have a slight excuse. <laughs> that I also that I also looked at the average actually looked at the average age of all the high schools of all the students in my hero and they're also about fifteen to sixteen. Mm. So yeah. it's bumped up in this particular To be fair, uh, Japanese high school is three years instead of four. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That makes sense. So we're all starting first years, I'm assuming. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, I I'm leaving my character at 14 because she was a prodigy anyway, so she probably skipped a grade or two. Alright. All right. Let's so, say, hey, at least, you're, at least you got that going for you. Then, you know, most everyone here is not from Japan. Nope. Shy town, baby. No, so my character is, uh, my character is uh, African American, or, well, skin wise. Uh,. Everything else, though, the hair, like in the in the token that you see, the hair is also the, the hair is there. You know? I see. Anyone who cares, look at the composition of the crowd. About probably seventy to eighty percent of the people in this crowd are of native Japanese descent. Though there are a decent amount of people that aren't from Japan. Some some people that look very European. Some people that are, you know, whether African American or natural American, such as. Uh, Ryan has pointed out, or, you know, they're just obviously not Japanese at a glance, but honestly, for some people with their quirks, it's hard to tell the ethnicity straight off the bat, because, you know... He's got a dog face! Yeah, I'd say it's hard to tell the difference between a Japanese fish and, a, and, a, and, a, <laughs> and an African fish. I just, I just thought of something. In, in this world, with superpowers, are guns still illegal in Japan? Probably. I'll get back to you on that. All right, because I'm so, thinking I, mi I might need a complication for the fact that I might need a complication for the fact that all of my character's creations are permanent, so I can't I can't get rid of them without destroying them somehow. Well, so I've just been leaving guns around. Say if if say if it's a party hero thing, once once you're actually in the school and describe, hey, here's how my shit works, they'll understand. All right. Uh, let me roll a die real quick. Okay, cool. Got the max one. All right, so I'm, I'm standing. I decided I'm going. I'll walk in around at around five foot six. Uh, looking around at the interesting quirks. Of uh, keeping an eye out for any I might want to. I might, I might want to try. Uh, analyzing and copying down the line. Okay, roll me. Uh... Roll me three different perception checks. I'm gonna, right. pan I'm gonna pa panic run bump into somebody because I'm late. Okay, I'm gonna roll a random die then. Or not a random die, but okay, I rolled the same thing regardless. So, okay, you succeed all three perception checks, and because I rolled a six, uh, Hopper, you run into... Uh, 
What, who, what do they look like? Because I don't know. Uh, yeah, say, uh, Phoebe. Uh, how's your demeanor at the moment? Are you confident, nervous? Uh, Phoebe is very nervous. Alright, uh, y you run into a, a, a pale, <laughs> nervous-looking woman. Oh, God, I, was kind of I think I just bowled us both over. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah. so Valentine, you specifically see that happening for sure. I'm not even gonna make you roll for that. But for the other three people that are vaguely interesting, one, there is a uh, there's a bulk of a man who, of course, you know, looks like your average, you know, your average strong brick person. But then you see the coloration of black and yellow on his fist, and that could certainly mean for something. Uh, you see many animal-based quirks. There's a piranha, there's a couple gators, there's dogs, cats, the, the, there's even an iguana somewhere. And the mm. third one, you see a person so remarkably plain that stands out. Mm. Do I see the two people run into each other? Oh yeah, pretty much everyone sees the two people run into each other because the, this was. I, th I, th I think I just tripped over you. Yeah. If if they're actually both like prone, I'm gonna go and help them up. All right. Uh, I was I was gonna make my character panic, create things, but I never decided on what. <laughs> uh, toothpicks. Ah. Just laying there indecisively. I'll make a note. On, uh, I'll make a note on uh, like piranhas and gators, as well as that a really plain fellow. Yeah. Something to look wow. into. Yeah. So. And, I'll, and then I'll decide. I might as well make some friends. So I walk over to the tangle of people. Yeah, before Ow. Hopper and Philby could get much of Ward of Edgewise, you're both grabbed, lifted up on the feet. <laughs> hey, y'all two okay? Just gotta be careful running around. There's a lot of people here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Fine. Running late. Well, it seemed to have gotten here on time. Shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> yeah, say, yeah, say you guys are about like the last 20-ish people just filing in to the building. By this time, a Tesla will probably have pulled up, and hey, Adam has probably made his way out. And, and, so, and, as, yeah, you, and as we I leave, heard like... Hey, Arm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and as you step out of the car, it's like, Goodbye, honey! Have a good trip! Bye, Mom. I'll see you later. I'll try not to uh, burn anything down. Uh, hey, guy, can you put me down? You're already on your feet. Yes. Yeah, oh, and don't forget my, about my stream. Second. Don't forget oh, about my right. stream later today. I'm playing Firewatch. Again? But that game is so old. People <laughs> like walking simulators. And then she just, fair. She, yes, she blows you. Walking she, simulators. She blows. She blows you a kiss, and uh, obviously it just peels off. off. Peels off. Yes. So I'm assuming um, their little gaggle of people are like the last like large cluster at this point. Yeah, yeah. There's a small group of people just kind of awkwardly looking at each other. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna join that because right. uh, I don't like being alone and I need to pack be mentality. surrounded by people. Yeah, pack mentality. <laughs> That's a cluster. Um, Go. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll say. Guy... Oh, go ahead. Come on, sorry. I'll say. Come on, we better get inside. Right. And, although I will, I will take notice on the "won't burn anything down" comment because, ooh, that would that'd be a good to add to the collection. Oh okay. yes, another quirk um, for my collection. You see, and, and you know, it, it just hit me that I might that I that I'll probably that that I'll probably get the I'll probably uh, get noticed in the whole all for one, one for all battle with my <laughs> ability. <laughs> yeah, you will. Ooh, ooh, quirk. Uh, um. Heado has his back turned to you, and of course he has his on his backpack. Uh, in his backpack are sheathed two, uh, looks to be two katanas, you can tell by the handles. Um, his hair yeah, is I also... Saw that his hair is, Yeah, his hair is spiked, but also it kind of like braid, it kind of like goes into a braid, but it kind of like goes down to his back. Like, it's that long. Um, 
What the fuck? What the what was that? I was rolling to see how hard my character panicked on an odd he was gonna be fine, on an even he was still panicking about being late. Of all the stupid rolls to nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, time for a repeat. Well, time for the comedic repeat. He, he bunks into you too. He turns around, not looking where he's going, and runs straight into the person who's not looking where he's coming from. Yep. Hey. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll just end the building day. with a Ow. comment. Wow, she, wow, she does not, she does not look where she's going. Did you say she or he? I, I thought it was a she. I'm. Uh, that's it's a dude. Oh, okay. Hopper's a dude. Ah, okay. Ah. Sorry, we mixed up who was doing what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, this is Alex. All right. So, ow, little man, you should probably watch where you're going. Quit panicking. Picks back up. Hiato kind of like scans the. Hiato scans the rest of the the rest of you. Huh. Uh, Are you allowed um, to have swords? Well, I mean, there's a specific reason why. <laughs> Is it like a local thing? What was it on the forms? Uh, most likely to do with this quirk. Let's get moving. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, it. Right. <laughs> I'm already. As, I, said, I was already. As you all begin to acquiesce, you realize you're about only the six people left outside. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now I am. As I late. said, I, as I said, I was walking in while that while that uh, second second collision happened. Upon realizing I'm one of the only people out, I, I would I would uh, say, "Oh no, I can't be late," and then start running in. So, Same as, runs after. As, as everyone trying not to pull anyone over this time. As no, everyone is fun. as everyone is pr pretty much sharing a loaf of bread between each other as they put it in their mouths and run towards people. <laughs> Johnny yeah, just kind of shakes his head and just kind of nonchalantly walks in. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? So. Y'all make it in without any trouble. Uh, yeah, and of course, there's still enough of a crowd to follow where it's impossible to get lost. And you all file in and find a... Uh, some seating left. It's mostly together, but only separated by uh, half a row or so. But y'all managed to get seats somehow, despite being some of the last people in here. <sighs> Uh, of course, uh, for... I uh, know, uh, Johnny, you're just tall. You're not super wide, so you don't need a special seat. No, right. not until, like, I change forms, then I get buff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, lift things up to knock them down. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, watch this. Holds his thumb, increases density by 300 times, falls through earth. <laughs> I don't do push-ups, I do earth down. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 You may be able to swallow. Uh, Jesus may have walked on water, but Chuck Norris swam through land. I was like, Keep, carry on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, we got it. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I took that more of the Terminator route, but it's like, man, I haven't heard Chuck Norris jokes in forever. Only one I know, get used to it. So, hey, who's on the stage? Uh, No one currently at the moment. It is all dark, and people are kind of talking amongst each other, just usual chatter of what's going on. Who do you, what do you think's going to test going to be? And also in so different languages. Mostly in Japanese, some in English, some in French, some in actually Native African, a few other scattering of languages. And you're turning on Infrasight? Turning on Spectrus, Spectrum Sight, yeah. Alright. Now one person just playing about and fucking <laughs> sign language. Uh. <laughs> so now uh, whoever's next to me just sees my eyes start glowing. Yep, I'll say that's, uh, Piranha. You're not gonna like laser the stage, right? I certainly hope not. Uh, with that type of color, you know. Right no, it's laser. Oh yeah, no, the stage is just lasering me. As with a, oh. he actually has a pretty comfortable smile on when he says that. Uh, go ahead and roll me perception since you're trying to kind of look out. Yep. I'll give you. Go ahead and give you a plus two circumstance bonus. Well, that's not wow. one anyway, Aaron. So. Well, wow. well, well, folks. I'm off so, I, I, well, I am bipolar today, apparently. Right. Yes. So here's what happens. Uh, it, did it, I just did something just fizzle? 
No, no say, uh, the, this isn't enough to get a hero point. I forget. I if you look directly into a bright light, does that fuck with the infrared and stuff like that? Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, that depends on the heat I don't of have, it. I don't, have, I don't have light sensitivity, but yeah, I might just get, like, very weird vision from, like, bright... Um, Everything that's really hot looks really bright, so odds are I can't see past that guy on fire two rows down. Yeah, uh, <laughs> th there is actually a uh, a row and a half made of people that look like they have some kind of heat-based quirk. It looks like they've already made a click. And between the actual light of the heat and just, well, the light of the fire some of them have and just the general heat, it's kind of hard to see through. He turns it off. Mate. Oh, God. It's like looking into a strobe light. Add... <laughs> Mentally adding adding pyromancers to my collection list. All right. Uh, after that short debacle is went through, uh, the lights turn on, and in the middle of the stage is a face some of you may recognize. He is a... Come on, Wiki, load up. <laughs> uh, that that we guy. Know it's all by <laughs> we know it's guy, all by me. My money's on the microphone, dude. That guy, you can't tell whether he's a mouse, a, a bear, or a. No, no a it's a. So if that's on the principal, all might, and my bet is the MC. Yep. I Hello, America! <laughs> Fuck up, y'all cunts. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. So. Yes, there is a man standing at about six foot one, another foot of that being a tall, blonde, upright hair, wearing uh, uh, yellow sunglasses, looks to be wearing headphones, and has some type of stereo-looking device around his neck. And you all yes. hear, Good morning, UA! Hopefuls! As his quirk resonates, you all, most of you... You, you, you cover your ears just out of reflex, and nothing hurts, but holy fuck, he's loud. Ugh. Turning my- turning the hearing sensitivity I, down. I, I probably pull out- I, I probably create earmuffs out of my head, out of reflex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just turn my eardrums in, in, into earplugs. I'm currently <laughs> fighting the reflex to put my helmet on. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you loud fucker! Ah! Yes. How are you all doing today? Whoa! Yeah, see, so there's a general like you and yeah, and uh, as One he begins, to talk, ow! <laughs> uh, Mike begins to lower his voice, like, "It's great to all see you here. With this, I gotta say, this is a pretty decent turnout. I mean, bigger than last year, sure. A few hundred, I think." Anyway, you all might know me as the one and only hero present, Mike. There is also a general woo as he is a respectable hero in the community. He's done some damn good work. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit of words, excuse me. And it is so nice to be down here again, looking at all you hopefuls and seeing potentially a room full of number one heroes. <laughs> Now, the burning question. I bet you're all very curious about the test we got for you this year in order to get in, huh? Me. Well, fight me, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got. Just. Captain looks like. Captain just kind of looks like. Captain just kind of looks like. Can she say that? Can she? <laughs> 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 oh, well, she just did. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that in real. I didn't say that in character. Jesus. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought she said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not like a small. It's not like a small auditorium. This is almost like amphitheater levels of large. Yeah. Because even it can if, fit a few hundred people. Even if you did say it, only the people around you probably would. Oh, then I would have said that. <laughs> yes, I yeah, would have said it. Yeah. Think she just did. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, by the way, for height reference, she's four seven. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh wonderful. He <laughs> also just looks. He also just looks at her and then just like looks at. Oh, you want to know? She says in Japanese. That's lost time. Yo, who's kidding? <laughs> uh, for anyone who looks at either stone or 
stone Hayato or uh, Piranha closely, if you have expertise heroes, go ahead and roll it. Oh, I don't have expertise heroes. General I intelligence? I should because of motivation, but I forgot to add that, so... Yeah, hey, if all else fails, general intelligence. I, I, uh -oh. Actually, sure. I, I, I do have jack-of-all-trades, so I could roll it with that. Uh-oh. Which, what which is just general intelligence. Me? What do they know? Jeez. Well, well, I know Ooh. fucking nothing. Two in a row. <laughs> yo, yo, I I'm, I'm, just, I'm getting them all out before the test. I'm getting them all out before. Okay, you know what's even dumber? Look back at like when I was testing my macros. I rolled a net twenty there too. <laughs> I blew my two net twenties on two rolls that aren't ever going to be used. Oof. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. I'm Are a you in the wrong place, dude. I'm a Floridian. Why would I'm a I'm a fish? Why would I roll? Looking <laughs> who's the most normal looking person next to him? Are you in the wrong uh, place? I, I think I think this wasn't there like a swordsmanship academy somewhere around here. Uh, for I'm still focusing on the katanas. Uh, it's a Valentine who got a sixteen. Uh, for for the people that got elevens, uh, Stone, you vaguely, uh, as as uh, your father was a pro hero. You did remember the one time he had to work with uh, the Great White on this uh, oil rig mission. And this, of course, you know, th this could be ranging in the range of just, oh, you, she must know, they must know all the fish. At the same time, you did hear mention that, uh, Stone mentioned that the Great White all complained about this little sister she had that was the runt of the family. Well... Technically, my dad would have been retired then, so it would have been regaling of stories. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and for um, uh, Katana Boy, he's Katana Boy. Uh, Valentine, you know everyone a bit more. Uh, the the Hulk of a brick you saw earlier, the 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 black and yellow markings kind of remembers like, oh yeah, Wrecking Ball. Wait, Wrecking Ball. And you, and with that essentially intellect, you kind of know the basics of the Wrecking Ball family for good and for bad. And just like basics. Uh, you also recognize uh, the Piranha that you tagged earlier. Possibly one of the Shark family. Not 100% sure, as while, per, while fish type quirks aren't entirely uncommon, and again, don't want to go into the realm of assumptions. You got a pretty decent guess. And for Katana Boy, something about his demeanor just, just kind of at least gives off he's important. You're not sure if he actually is just important or not. Katana Boy. <laughs> did I recognize did I recognize his mom? Uh you uh, you did not get a good look of her mom. Or okay. his mom. <laughs> but with the but but with the quote earlier of not of not burning down anything this time, that does give you a few more clear guesses. Uh. Um. To to uh to uh, Ty Tyler's question, Tyler's character's question. It's like <clears throat> he's kind of leans and he's like, look, look, man. The, my dad gave me these swords. He was worried that I was gonna that something worse was gonna happen. But just I use the. Don't worry, they don't cut anything. The reverse blade. Ah, oh, god damn. He gives, like, he gives you a. <laughs> he gives you a very confused look. Pretty clear, he doesn't know what that means. What was that, Max? <laughs> no, nothing. It was a a running catch and oh, okay. call out. Gotcha. He, um, um, he just, I he get just, it. He, upon him looking confused, just like they don't. They don't. They only cut if you use the other side of the blade. These just. He just hit you hard. I thought you just use a stick. I didn't want to use a stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metal, it's just a metal stick. It's just a metal stick. What about a metal stick? I didn't want to use oh. a metal stick. It's, it's, oh. literally, it's literally just a bat a with a blade on one side. <laughs> you wanted to use a sword, but that, that doesn't cut. What the hell? I'll turn my head around. I'll turn he's, my head around. He doesn't look like he's just. He doesn't look like he's. He doesn't sound like he's being derogatory. Right he just sounds genuinely confused. I'll I'll rotate my head around to to look at these to look at these guys. Hey, there's a guy with a cinder block for a face. It's a few rows down, and you're and you'd think a 
I think a guy with a, with swords is the weird thing. Yes, because the guy with yes, because the guy with the cinder block face didn't get a choice in the cinder block face. This guy <laughs> brought swords that don't cut. Hey, maybe we should pay attention to the uh no. You guys are actually louder than the loud man. I don't know how that's possible. Shut up. You started it. <laughs> Do anything. Not you. Not you pipsqueak. Inhales angrily from water inhaler. He just looks. He, he looks very. He hears that. Looks over. It just looks even more. Confused. It's like inner gill, like on her neck. This. Uh, uh, to interrupt this cavalcade of three, a very tall-looking man uh, stands up. Just from standing, he looks to be near seven foot, and just kind of looks back like, "Hey." You all quiet down down there, or up there, trying to listen to the man speak. And, uh, of course, the, he's speaking loud enough for the whole auditorium to heal, and even taking a bit of high-five spice. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, I didn't even notice him up there. Uh, but, uh, I'm not sure of everyone, but I'd appreciate if none of you all um, uh, take the radio waves from me. Ha 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 The man sits back down and like, anyway, the... The test of today is going to be a mix. It is not going to be, uh, no, not to, no. Track that a bit, and not today, tomorrow. Uh, the test that will be coming up very soon tomorrow are, is going to be a mix of a few past ones. There will, of course, be the, uh, the usual uh, combat step, where you'll all be put into a fake city. Wonderfully made by our very own R&D department to be as realistic to actual Japanese life as possible. A custom with giant robots. Cut out there. Giant robots. What? Giant robots. You cut. You, you roboted hard when oh, you were man. saying giant robots appropriately enough. <laughs> <laughs> Always tends to happen. Every time he mentions robots. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> you know, it's always at like the best possible times that it happens. <laughs> I think he's actually having internet issues oh. for a half sec. Not right now. Uh, Hello? he's having internet issues apparently. Hello? He's in the red. Yeah. There he is. Hello? There he is, he's returned. Hello? He's back. Yeah. <laughs> My not right now Whoa. was in response to the camera hear me. Okay. No, yeah. it's so red. <laughs> Can you hear us? Who has an internet cork? Yeah, I can hear you all fine. Okay, you just keep going and tell us what's happening. Yeah. Okay, if you all can hear me, that's hello. <laughs> that's, you left, you left just, off I'm a still on rope. one bar. I don't know how. Oof. You left oh. off at giant robots. Yeah, I'd say that was the closing statement, at least, so it's odd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually where I wanted it to end. Oh, so, but we're only, wow, we're only getting so, tips on Giant robot, of... which is met with some... Oh. What was that? I... nothing, nothing. Oh. Okay. And uh, there is a mix of confusion, like confusion murmurs and cheers and blah, blah, blah. It's like, of course, it's not going to be just giant robots because we know that some quirks aren't equipped to handle giant mechanical monstrosities. So there's also going to be a section that either either party can do, whether you're in the robot fighting camp or not, uh, the classic saving the citizens type thing. But in the middle of all the robot action, there are many a convincing actor in this in the street that are the civilians. And the more of them you can perf that you can guarantee get to safety points, the better. And as he's talking, behind them is this huge layout of a whole city map. On the left side, oh hey, I'm in green again. Okay, cool. Now I know I'm being heard. Uh, on the left side, there look to be about three or four different robot models that are shadowed out. And on the uh, and uh, there are little orange squares peppered out throughout the city block. And on the right side of the map, the, there is a uh, a map key. The orange blocks are red as the safety spots. It's like, 
you take the civilians there, they will count as saved, and depending on how long or short the mission, or how much time left in the mission, the civilians will go back out there and need resaving. Uh, there's also a third bit, where it is a, a bit more involved in either task, which is catching the criminal. During the, all the chaos of robot fighting and saving civilians, of course there are going to be people wanting to take advantage of the chaos. These people are going to have actual quirks. In fact, a lot of these people playing as villains are graduates. And the, all the murmuring and like, slight talking just kind of stops. It's like, oh shit. Former graduate. Granted, we have instructed him not to uh, <clears throat> go all out, he says with air quotes. But at the same time, they are not going to pull any punches. If they see you, and if, and if it's in their description to purposely mess with the heroes, they are going to purposely mess with the heroes. And there are two types of these quirk villains that are going to be out there. People wanting to steal, and people wanting to wreak havoc on us heroes. And depending on how well you do between all three of these aspects will determine your ranking, where you're going to go in either the classes, or if you make it in UA at all. Because, yeah, you know, we can't fit all of you in here. It, there's kind of an air of, like, nervous ha-ha laughter at the realization <laughs> not everyone is guaranteed a spot. Uh, as uh, Mike is finishing up that, a uh, random person in the crowd... Actually, no, it's not a random person. Uh, Valentine, you recognize the remarkably plain-looking person. Just kind of stand up. Uh, you can see him like he's like 100 feet away and more the right side of the stadium. Stand up and raise his hand. He's like, and what up? Uh, is the goal to try and get all three objectives as best as we can? Or what is the actual parameters? And uh, Mike responds with, well, it's kind of up to you. Really, how we score is uh, based on efficiency, heroism, and various other values that we take in consideration when uh, uh, we watch you all live uh, in the safety of our room, of uh, not rooms of the, uh, the the test facility rooms. Uh, we will look over to the footage. We have many categories we are judging, and you can go for. All three objectives, so only for two, you can focus on one as long as you're doing something that any sensible hero would do in your shoes. It is perfectly fine. And don't and don't worry if you all have any other pending questions after my talk here, <laughs> um, a, a little brochure of my own design will be handed out to you all that could answer any possible frequently asked questions. Uh, but is there anything pressing right now? Anyone? Huh? How will we identify? I'll raise my hand. How will we identify the villain? Ah, uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I've almost forgot that tiny little detail. Of course, it would have been a Tristan Pro. Sure, but might as well tell it to you now. Easier to keep in your head. Uh, they will be recognized by either a orange or a blue band on either their arm, their leg, or whatever limb is most accessible to them. Uh, the orange bands will be the one that are out for stealing. They will be stealing marked items that will be marked as valuable in trying to get to their own safety squares that, for the sake of the test, are not shown on the map. The blue bands are the, are the people that are purposely out there to mess with the hero's day, trying to, to put lightly, incapacitate you. Or at the very least, make sure you can't complete the test. So they're out I'll, I'll nod my head and sit back down. Anything else? All right. Hopper uh, raises his hand. Oh. Is he, uh, what about equipment? Like, I know we're allowed to use our quirks, but if we have anything else, can we use that? Or, uh, yes. Uh, with uh, everyone who needs any uh, 
special assistance with their quirk, you know, you know, such as, you know, much as my voice is, it does need a little boost as he taps the thing on his neck. Uh, granted, we will not be providing equipment that enhances your ability, but equipment that ensures that your ability can be used effectively. There is a very fine distinction there. Hey, I told looks to looks to Hopper with the I told you so look. <laughs> Explain why your sword's blunt. And of course, if you have all have brought any of your own equipment, that's all nice and dandy, but it will have to be put through inspections, as is par for the course. Uh, Hayato kind of like slightly rolls his eyes, but he just kind of shrugs it off. <laughs> and yes, we will know the difference between objects made by quirks and objects made by hands. We've been doing this for many years now. <laughs> So, regardless, uh, there will be a few other talks throughout the day about the smaller details, but this was the most important one, and you all made it! Uh, congrats on everyone who got here, whether it be recommendation, their own merit, or, or something else. You've all earned your place here, and we can't wait to see the best of you come out on top. You're all dismissed. Feel free to go through the open areas of the UA Academy. Because this also doubles as pretty much your tour. <laughs> and with that, he kind of he gives a slight bow. Everyone in the cloud, most everyone in the cloud claps or stands up. And he proceeds to exit the stage as people begin to disperse from the auditorium. Well, that was interesting. All right. Yeah, kind of quick. So there's no action happening today? Uh, yes. Not. She's hey. I, I pull off I pull off my earmuffs and start looking for a trash can. Yeah, I have to start talking with us like in green. My mom's already started her screen, so that means she can be interrupted. Looks like I'm hustling. Uh uh my mom will probably be back by soon. She had to really leave for work early, but Dude, it really beats. Dude, I just hoofed it from my. I just hoofed it from my place. Believe me, hoofing it sucks. Well, I mean, it can. Uh, so, so, are you all dispersing? I'm assuming. Vaguely. Yeah. Stick with the guy I've kind of been talking to this whole time, especially since he appears to need a lift. <laughs> oh. oh, I'll get up and start wandering around. All right. Same. I'm gonna kind of. Tour the campus. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, so, shit. If everyone's leaving me alone, I guess I'll just randomly follow, like, start following around one person if I'm doing a tour. Say, uh, because it seems like Hopper and uh, Monster Hyatt Hunter. Alex and Hyatt. Yep. Are seem to be the people sticking together. I'm not going to give you a hero point because we're not really rolling that much this, but I'd say at the same time, you're strongly inclined to go with the group. Yep, the yep. <laughs> I'm going with the biggest cluster. <laughs> we're being, we're being, uh, we're being roller coasted boys now. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Uh, I mean, I followed you. Uh, yeah, that's what kind of looks like. Well, hmm. Hey, if you want to walk, you can, man. All right, let's do. H having no one to depend on, Phoebe will also follow the largest group. Yeah, All right. Like, yeah, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just. We should probably cut till tomorrow around. now. Maybe maybe we'll just wander around a little bit. Maybe by that time our parents will be here to pick us up. All right. Uh, let's. Johnny see. just kind of like leans forward towards them, uh, mainly towards Hopper. He goes, "Hey, you yeah. might want to take a tour of the campus. You were running late this morning. If you know the place better, you might be a little less nervous." Hopper yeah, gives you a very deadpan look. Yes, because yeah, because knowing this place better is going to help my alarm go off at, on time in the morning. Yeah, but it might help you get to where you're going faster, so you know all the shortcut. As as I walk off, I'll 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 make a comment. Eh, you scrubs still need to sleep. <laughs> hey, I'll just look and give you the smoke look like. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm defensive. Shit. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Exactly what it sounds like. What are you, some sort of, uh... What, that you suck dead? without your quirk? <laughs> you just stand around being boring all day? Uh... 
I mean, hey, if hey, I can get in, be... I hey, got in there with right? just a fancy eyesight. Yeah, hey, that's what this kind of looks like. Damn, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I at least called you one dead. They called you boring. Hey, uh, Valentine. <laughs> hey, no, they. Somebody yeah. else called them boring. I called can them. Can you roll bitch. me a will save real quick? Or no, uh, not will, a pencil? I forgot what it is. Oh, no, it is it, will. It, it is will. The one time I try to. <laughs> okay. So, as uh, you're starting to get into this argument with uh, these people, you feel a poke on your shoulder and almost an attempt at something slightly cold on that spot, but nothing really seems to come to fruition, and th th you turn around, obviously, I assume. Yeah. Uh, you wh wheel around and looks to be a man that's about... Oh, wait. No, oh, sorry. A woman... That's about a five foot seven uh, Japanese. Looks to be a bit cheapish and is wearing a some casual clothes. It's like, oh, uh, sorry, I uh, <laughs> I I heard you could not sleep, and I was wondering if that was actually true. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I I got I got rid of my need to sleep years ago. Let me let me tell you, best decision of my life. Those hours, those those hours you lose to sleep really add up. You mind if I get a sample? <clears throat> you mind I if I get a sample? I think I prefer sleeping to working. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, sleep. Uh, is good. Sleep is good. Sleep is mm. fun. I got all my best ideas. Well, I, got, I got all my good ideas when I dream. Mm. A sample? As he Before. walks, up, as Hopper start keeps oh. walking off, presumably. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, excuse me. My name is. <clears throat> Osei Miyoko. Uh, I have a, a very special quirk I like to call. I'll take it. I can, uh, I can essentially borrow parts uh, of people's quirks for a moment. Do I hear that? <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone hears that. She is talking quite casually about hey, it. Hey, so. just looks like, I'm sorry. Did you literally just say your quirk was called I'll take it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I know it's helpful. I can make, you know, if, I, if I'm with some friends that can make water, I can just make my own water. If I'm with some friends that can lift a car, I can at least lift a fountain. Of course, I don't get everything from them, but, you know, it's I nice. She's being polite and asking. Hmm. Uh, that, is, that is an interesting quirk. So tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a sample if I, if I get one in, your, in return. <laughs> show me mine, I'll show you yours. <laughs> Can you, you even copy that work? You, you, I, I'm not sure how that works, but I'd be interested to see how. Alright. I uh, just need a little bit bit of your hair. And in return... Wait, <laughs> Wait, if you rearrange your own yeah. DNA, does that get rid of your own work because your DNA is no longer combined in the right order to make your quirk work? Oh, that's too much. Uh, <laughs> I've dealt uh, with this shit before. Uh, she's like, yeah, that just kind of. Yeah, just kind of looks like. What kind of after-school special is this? Uh, she plucks one out I don't. Hair. One that I kind of don't want to be a part of. Uh, she plucks a hair out, gives it to you, and since you are consenting to this I, transaction, I, uh, I I pointed her here. Pull my finger. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Hopper speed walks away. Yeah, she's going to just simply tap you, and since you're consenting to this, you feel a part of your being not be taken, but feel not a part of you for a moment. It got scanned. Uh, since I don't know exactly what you build, take one random thing that you can change into, and it's quote-unquote disabled for the time being. You have been some one of your powers has been nullified. She wanted sleep. Your immunity sleep. Ah. Yes, actually, it's you. your immunity sleep has been taken away. Oh, uh, does that mean, it, does that mean it all caught up with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, it just knocks you dead on your ass. Four years of sleep all I'm, at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it, you don't immediately fall like a brick, but you do. Your sudden rush of fatigue, something you haven't felt in a long time. Oh. oh, that's. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. 
It's like just constant Red Bull. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll just I will absorb the hair she gave me into my body and and uh just tuck stored stored aside for later analysis and experimentation. Oh, and, uh, don't worry about that. Whatever feeling you're feeling, you only get it for like an hour or so. But this is interesting. Are you well, all... Sometimes an hour, sometimes a day. It depends. Mm. Y'all done? Y'all... Who knows? They might actually need to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, so mm. It's looking like... Alright. Don't worry. If you collapse, I'll be sure to, you know... Uh, as you all begin to uh, tour the the high school, uh, you're you're all led, but within the, there's no like actual like structured tour guides. It's pretty much people that are either in a clique or are trying to branch out have be, made into a group and they're kind of traveling the campus on their own. Uh, you, you guys are seen through the cafeteria, uh, meet some of the staff, so see the very impressive gym in the outside area. Excuse me. Um, I hear a lot. And pretty much everything that could be top dollar is top dollar in this joint. Um, as, while we're uh, while we're touring, he also would look to the guy, the guy next to him that's been that he's been mm -hmm. talking to. Oh, by the way, name's Teato. Teato Mugen Masa. Alex. Alex. <laughs> <Mata>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Weird, right? <laughs> no, I, I just love it. Hayata Morimata. I was like, Alex. Oh. Well, if, if, ah, where are my manners? If Valentine. Or, uh, I got like a more country than Brooklyn. Hey. If Valentine. Hey. Pleasure. Um, I, I, I'm Phoebe. Phoebe Crilly. Uh, well, well, now that I got both your names. Sorry, Hayato. Sorry, Phoebe, for earlier. Eh, don't worry about it. Oh, it, it's it's not a problem. Prana you, goes like, I'm here! <laughs> and... Sudere energy. <laughs> I feel like I'm... I feel like somebody's trying to glare holes in the back of my head. Turns around a little bit. Looks away. Uh... Hi? Uh, hi. Um... You can call... Looks around for whoever was glaring at him. <laughs> uh... She kind of awkwardly hands up. Nick, you can call me Pan. Like Peter? Not like Peter. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, you mean Panduce. Okay. Pan what? Panduce. I, I think it just yeah, means Pan. Just, just Pan. I just like how during, like during all this stone is just like, yep, this is happening. <laughs> He yep. just takes. He just takes a takes the outstretched hand, and shakes it. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Uh, 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 big guy. Did you see anybody trying to clear a hole in the back of my head? Not to my knowledge, and it's Johnny. Hmm. What? What like? What like a uh, metaphorically or laser uh, vision? Uh. I'm really gonna hope it was metaphor because if it was laser vision, their laser vision sucked. <laughs> uh, you worry, you worry too much. As you guys are walking through, I mean, we are in superhero school. As you guys are walking through and outside, you—it it has been a pretty warm day overall. You know, not hot, but you know, a nice spring breeze. You. Feel everything become ever so slightly warmer, like maybe by a few degrees, and it's pretty easy to tell why. There's a guy dressed in the, looks like casual school attire, laying out in the grass, but it looks like there's rays of sunshine directly onto him. Who's that light again? Ah. <laughs> huh. Uh, Johnny next... just kind of glares down at Pan Pan. Yeah. Looks away. Uh, I say, uh, next to him is a is a figure you all vaguely recognize, but Valentine recognized more is the very out of place looking plain man. And then of course there is a 
a, a third person there, a woman who looks to be already having some textbooks out and is on a laptop of sorts and just diddling away, but is, you know, looking up at the sun, is just kind of gives a scowl and just kind of leans the laptop forward. Like, your son is getting in my screen. It's like, your screen's getting away in my son. It's like, that's not how the sun works. It's like, it does for me, baby. <laughs> Should we already have had textbooks? Uh, the woman looks up like, oh no, these are my own. Do you have your own textbooks? Of course. Are they like out of date or something? <laughs> no, they are quite up to date, thank you very much. And as you're talking to her, uh, one second, let me just double check a thing. You could just make textbooks? <laughs> <laughs> Not not necessarily UA textbooks. Heck, I got a whole I've got a whole stack of stack of textbooks for, for biochemistry. Uh, she Nerd. she is a woman of of darker skin. She has, has lightish reddish hair and looks to definitely not be native to this part of the area. But but speaks in a very like uh, proper and almost business like tone. It's like. I always keep my books up to date. It's what my quirk requires. Like, it does, and the, the guy who's sunny is like, it doesn't require it. You're just a fucking nerd. It's like, it's a part of my powers, damn it. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're like an actual ray of sunshine. Oh, no. It's just, uh, when, uh, when Big Boy's out, he points directly at the sun. And you notice. He's staring directly at the sun and is not blinking. He is somehow able to manage that. Like, yeah, well, solar no. powered. Uh, oh no, not solar powered. I can just kind of manipulate it a little bit all the way down here. Kind of cool. I can't set things on fire, but you uh, know, I can do other stuff. No, that's it. my job. <laughs> people, people will reach into a jacket and pull out a uh, folded up parasol and then unfold it. Oh, why do I'll you have like? To... <laughs> I'll look. I'll look down at, at at sunlight, man. Huh. That, that's an interesting quirk. Pleasure to meet. Pleasure to meet you, Tib uh, Tib Valentine. And I reach out my reach out my hand to him. Uh, to Texan again. <laughs> I, I I don't know why that keeps happening. It it says hey, so everyone's got their pants voice. Tib Valentine, <laughs> that's how you say it. I think that's British. No, I mean, like, I think Valentine. Val 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 Valentine. 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 No, a oh, fuck. That's, t that's like Alabama. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you really can't. Chicago's hard. So, <laughs> so wait, uh, he's looking at the, at the girl. Um, yeah. so, um, reaching for something. Uh, Sunshine Man gets up, and as he stands up, or not stands up, but sits up, it gets noticeably brighter and just a bit more warmer. And when you actually touch his hand, it feels not uncomfortably warm to the touch, but, you know, like he, you know, like he's very warm. It's like, pleasure to meet you. Name's, uh, uh, uh Shiamoto Ichio. No, Shiamoda Ichio. Sorry, I had to write. I had to write out the oh. pronunciation for somebody. Well, well, it is open. We we both make it through initiation. Oh, I'll be fine. Mm. I and the inevitable uh, skin cells that are left on my hand, I will I will tuck away for for, for further aren't analysis those, and copying. Aren't those dead? Yeah, they, they still have DNA in them. I don't uh, think that's how that works. And uh, Fielby, uh, so sorry you got talked over a bit. You offered an umbrella to uh, the nerd girl. I'll just say for her right now. Uh, a parasol, not an umbrella. Paris, is there a difference? Yes, Let's parasols. With, yes. Parasols specifically have a uh, sun protection factor. Ah, okay. um, umbrellas, the sun can. A lot of the sun can get through umbrellas. It's an umbrella, but goth. I mean, a lot of parasols are very not. What long, a fucking but... take! <laughs> but fair enough. Uh, the woman looks up and just she nods appreciatively and takes it and say, "Thank you. How much do I owe you?" Oh, it's it's fine. You can have it. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Gina Pinder. Uh, uh, Phoebe Crilly. And uh, the guy who looks completely unremarkable just kind of looks generally to the group. like, I'm Tata. And by completely unremarkable, he has a shaved head wearing gray and white uniform other than the tie, which is red. And he looks like that. there's not a lot going on behind those eyes. He looks like a basic model that nobody moved any sliders on in character creation. I'll lean into stone. Yeah. I'll be like, I'm pretty sure I could draw his face like 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone died. <laughs> oh. <There you> go. <laughs> it happened. Nice it's to a, meet you guys. I'm Alex. Yeah. It's a, as uh, as Tata actually turns to talk to uh, Sunman, you actually see on the back of his head an exact duplicate of his face, but it's like with Sharpie. Al <laughs> Way, for how his face looks, imagine uh, Saitama when he's Yeah. Active. Yep, I was. <laughs> that's that's why. <laughs> he, he's going to introduce us. Like... So, so is the second face a quirk thing, or is that oh, just no, a personal it's choice? It just looks like it's drawn in Sharpie. Yeah. Pan just uh, bust out. <laughs> So, what are y'all hoping to get into, Sunshine Man, says uh, Shiyamoda. Like, because I don't know about you all, but I'm looking to get the top spot of 1A, no problem, flat. I mean, there's only one major here, isn't there? Uh, I mean, uh. it's going to be kind of hard to try and do that when uh, I'm out there, as he kind of <laughs> does uh, like that himself. Uh, leans over. You, you, do know, you, you do know the classes have multiple people in them, right? Oh, did you <laughs> want to make your blade for you, man? That's kind of he, 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 he kind of just like wait, wait, he kind of just like turns, he kind of just like looks back, and like Mister Best, he's like, shut up. <laughs> okay, what does he say? Oh, wait, oh you're think. doing a thing. You're doing a thing. Oh. <laughs> you're doing a thing. Like, oh, he, <laughs> hey, backs off. Oh, did your mama make your blades for you? That's so sweet. Actually, my dad made me these. Ah, oh, even better. My dad probably made half of the equipment that you guys made. Maybe you heard of him. Vladol? Nope. Who? Culture swines. Says that in Japanese, by the way. Ain't he the uh, short guy? Can I roll to uh, see if uh, I know who he is? Uh, uh, anyone, yeah, anyone who has expertise heroes, and this is specifically going to be a hero roll. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, no, I just can't, I can't fucking do it. Uh, you heard of him. He's not, while well, he was a pro, he was more of a pro in R&D than, uh, actual heroism. So, you, he, you yeah. did, uh, your father did mention he did have a, uh, an assistance gear made by that man one time. Yeah, so, your with, father's, uh, pro R&D. With yes, my mom? Is. My father has some of your years enough. Uh, that is an option. Say if he's trying to say something. With, with my motivation being basically that I know, like R and D people, or I know of R and D people, and wanted to be one. Would uh, I have an advantage in rolling, or? Oh. You'd probably just know. I'll say for the fact that yeah, since you're really passionate about it, you would just know. Okay. It's like, yeah, this dude's dad's one of the fucking pros, man. Right. I could just see you start geeking out. Yeah, and, and his <laughs> yeah. work drawn his back. Just, just silent, just silently looking at you and kind of like more daggers. <laughs> Phoebe, <laughs> Alex waves his hand from Phoebe's face. Phoebe, hmm? you there? Uh, spaced out for a minute. Oh, uh. Sorry. As Just... this, like, half argument, half conversation <laughs> going on, the woman who is now t beginning to type away again, Nif the Periscope's like, we all just got here. Now's not the time to make rivalries and fights. Do that for when competition's actually important. No, that's no rivalry. Just stating an obvious truth. <laughs> uh... I think you missed a point there. Hmm. The points are on her back, on his back. 
Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Dragon Man. Oh, God yes. damn it, Max. God damn it, Max. He just got the fucking Ghostbuster <laughs> on his back. Uh, uh, shit, your whole uh, mouth. Uh, and there will be more points on my back if I... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and make me a will save. Wow, you're oh, just. I'm good at those. We're we're popular today. <laughs> you're just kind of wandering around meeting people. Well, you're good at those, but uh, as wait, you're well, wait, no, because like my will save is actually. You were good at those. That's two. What the hell? No, no, because like I don't know how. Like I I don't know how to actually like, input them. Like I don't well, know the actual. No. Total. It's I'm not a like... huge deal, so let's go yeah. with it. You're about to say a witty retort. When you get this, how do I explain this? It feels like three Wikipedia tabs open up in your brain at once, and you're just blasted with this random assortment of information that involve coconut seeding patterns, the the exact species of a black striped anteater, and how avocados became avocados, which they are today. It's just this random cavalcade of information just kind of hits you and stops you in the track. He just kind of looks the way he looks, like, kind of looks confused. What? No. What did you see? Like pop up. Dude, 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 <laughs> you had, dude, you had, dude, you had that wedding retort ready. What happened? Yeah, as the, <laughs> just typing away. Never drop a retort. Let's let's stop. Let's drop the stuff now. You you two can get back to your fight or whatever later. It's like, Sun Man's like, oh, it's not a fight. It's a and as he's about to say something, <laughs> he just he stops. Makes... <laughs> he just kind of uh, he also kind of like looks at the lady. The Wait, lady. so so that's where so that's the squid mating season. It's like, yep. Any any idiot knows that. So, quick question: Are these like the physical, place. like pop-ups in their face, or are they just mental? mental? It's like getting horribly sidetracked. It's like a brain fart, but with actual content. Yeah, so, it's like, like talking like, to Logan. It's getting horribly at oh. So, so Aaron, it's like talking to Logan. Kind of. Ah. Like, <laughs> actually, yeah. But if you look closely at uh, at um uh, Dragon Man's eyes when he was in that state. You did see what looked to be some type of white square in his pupil. So is there like a paid for version that makes those not happen? Uh he just kinda he just kinda looks to the lady. In his head he's just like, huh. Oh, so that's your work. Yep. Quizzical. In in his in his head. Did she, say, just did she reply back to me in my head? Oh, you were saying that in your head. You didn't my say bad. it out loud. Yeah, you didn't in, say it out loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah that oh, was in my head. She can't read mine. She's just smarter. Oh, okay. She's just smarter than you. <laughs> I don't oh, doubt shit. it. Shots fired. Hey, hey, look. I'll take them shots. I'll hold that ill. Yeah, keep talking shit and you're going to know how exactly coconuts mate, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> You're gonna have anyway. so many. You're gonna have so many Wikipedia tabs open. You're gonna be in a slight coma. You feeling me? <laughs> nah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a repeat of Morgan Freeman reading Wikipedia ads. Oh, God. oh no! Oh no! So as the situation diffuses and everything calms down, and you know, you, you two have your last witty remarks that the woman tapping away doesn't seem to give two shits about to stop you this time. Actually, I wouldn't uh, even have a witty remark. I'd just be like, eh, it's weird. You've been derailed. Yeah, <laughs> same. I was like, what are we talking about? Oh, yes, so the swords my dad made. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, my, my, my dad made me use blades. He said I need them. They don't blades. cut. I was going to say. They're, Those blades they're... must be a small fortune. Mm -hmm. Doing the prestige he had. Well, considering as to how, considering as to how my dad just wants to make sure he's safe, he may, he just you know, he personally spent some time on these things. Sounds a good he, Yeah, and then he almost cried when he gave them to me. <laughs> Shakes his head. Uh, Tata, who has been silent almost this entire time, is like, "I'm sorry, man." 
Uh, no, it's fine. Just like out of the blue, just in, and and he tried to sound sincere, but he just sounded so monotone. He's like, I'm sorry, man. What? Just he just kind of. Alex forgot he existed for a second. Right. He just looks like. I like this dude. He's literally just vibing. Yeah, for real, I like it. Don't get it. Yeah, just kind of looks like, yeah, don't worry about it. This is how he is. He's always been there. Okay. You should have saw him. You should have saw him when, he, when my quirk manifested. He balled for two days. <laughs> don't tell him I said that. Now. Was he good at bowling? He says monotone. Bowling. <laughs> yeah, that's what kind of like, put, stare. Put, just puts his face in his, in his right hand. It's like, <laughs> no, I mean, I... Uh... and uh, <laughs> uh. Sunshine Man, also known as, uh, if I can, yeah, no, yeah, Shiyamoto is like, ah, don't mind Tata, he's just, uh, that's kind of his thing. Uh, Fine. hey, you want to tell him your, what your quirk is? And Tata's like, okay, blank. Just blank? Blank? What, like, yeah. you, what, like you didn't fill out the space on the sheet? It just... And, uh, Sunshine Man just, uh, <laughs> Uh, Shiomoto's like, no, 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 his, uh, his quirk is, is, he's blank. Like, blank slate? Very slate. hard to read. Oh, no, um, uh, watch this. Um, hey, um, uh, Gina, h hand me one of those pencils, would you? And at bef she barely gets it out, and she, and, uh, Shiomoto grabs the pencil, the sunlight focuses, like, all the rays that were, like, passively around him super focus on the pencil, and you almost see a slight burn mark on the pencil, and he quickly throws it at Tata. Tata, all of a sudden, his face gets super serious and hard, and he just kink, catches it perfectly betwixt his fingers. Good job, it is just Saitama. <laughs> and then, he, and then he like it, the, that serious face lasts for maybe like ten seconds, and he bl and he blinks back, he's like, "Oh, cool, a pencil," and he puts it in his pocket. So he's just. Alternate persona. Not paying attention. He's just got like. He's just not paying attention ninety percent of the time. This man. Oh, is, he's oh no. Get in the zone. Oh no! This man's really aware. Nothing gets back to him. It's like, like, hey Tata. Looks around the back of his head. <laughs> it's like, hey Tata, what's that girl's name? Uh, the, the pointing at the uh, the quiet girl, uh, Phoebe, uh, looking at the swords and. And Tata looks over to her and is like, her name's Phoebe. She likes the guy's swords. Looks to Phoebe, looks to the girl that's like blatantly been staring for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Phoebe blushes and backs away and like puts up her hood. I'm sorry. Just Tata says again, as plainly as possible. Nah, it's fine, I mean. So. You're just, you have sunshine, and you just, you're like, what? So, so a guy who does stuff with sunlight, serious face, and textbooks. Wait, is the sunlight, like, what you're focusing on, or? Uh, as, as he's talking, the, the, the sun rays around him kind of go back to that nice summer glow that you would only see in perfectly shot magazine photos. It's like... Oh yeah, long as the sun's out, I can pretty much do whatever I want with it. Yeah, well, I, I mean, like... I can't make it crash down or anything major like that, but hey, it all kind of just like, like, kind of just like rubs his chin. Hmm. If I had to guess, you're just like some giant super powered solar panel, huh? Oh no, no, no! Dude, I, don't... I already, I already asked if you were solar powered. Wait, no. is it like you got a giant magnifying glass? I don't know. Some... I just kind of he waves his finger in the sunlight. That was like in between his fingers actually starts moving and interwining between it like it's twine. Like I just huh. kinda do that. It's pretty cool. I can do some cool stuff with this. You know, blind people. It's like, you know, I I'm not I'm certainly not gonna be the one throwing haymakers, but you know, uh he points over at, at Johnny is like, you know, if if, he, if that guy were fighting a guy at least twice as big, throw some sunlight in his eyes. I don't care who you are, that shit's gonna hurt. In the line there. And as a, to respond to uh, Hopper or Alec, the woman looks <laughs> up from the computer is like, my quirk is insult. Essentially, as long as I'm smarter than you, which I know I am for most people, I can mess with you. 
Isn't mm. being smart already like a thing, though? It's less of the fact that it, the Discord doesn't enhance. Right. It doesn't enhance my intelligence. Trust me, I've worked for every bit of this. It's just with the more intelligence I have, the more powerful my abilities can be. Such as, for example, uh, she snaps her fingers, and uh, uh, who was the who was the one that asked asked that question to her? Me. Okay. Pam. Uh, Pam. Uh, Pam you get in a split second, as if you probably already didn't know, the all the information you could ever know about piranhas, just like in a flash moment in your head. Like, oh. You um. Wow, we're illegal in like a lot of states. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Florida, which I know where you're from. T uh yeah, um, yeah. I'm curious, so, what, do you, what do you mean by it only works if, if you're smarter than them? <laughs> Big brain time! The information is not going to work very well. It also doesn't work on things that don't have a mind of their own, or just, for lack of a better term, are too stupid to know that they're stupid. Hmm. Uh, so you you are gonna have to do overtime for the robot thing, aren't you? I'll I'll be focusing on probably taking out the criminals and helping civilians. And Good game I, plan. Certainly no slouch in combat. It's just you know big robot. Yeah, I mean I've never really tried on a robot to be truthful. Granted, you know that's a good thought experiment. Alex, you said thank you. I'll be thinking about that tonight. Unless it might be a good idea to leave the robots to the heavy hitters. Or just, like, learn to hack and make you smarter anyways. I'm already seven steps ahead of you. <laughs> I... I guess that's your power. Cool. <laughs> and, uh, after that, uh, Gina closes up her laptop, and she actually has a pretty hefty book bag to the side of her, shoves everything in there, and takes out the parasol that was she she did jam into the ground and takes off it's like I'll have to take my leave I have a study session to go to you will have a nice day you okay. too Get, is it, Alex looks like he's deep in thought for a few for 30 seconds after she leaves so she's like always yeah, just question, school, school hasn't even uh, started yet who's she studying with uh, 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 uh one question the, Ryan uh, uh yeah. um sunshine man Shiomoto just kind of asks like oh no she goes uh she kind of does her time doing um, uh, what are those things called, Tata? And Tata's like, Sudoku puzzles, Minesweeper, Multiplication oh, and in Calculating Pi. All in of this. In Japanese, Hayata just says, uh, oh, she's one of those. I assume we were all talking in Japanese yeah. at the time. Yeah. Oh, are we? We are yeah. in Japan. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I can. I I know. I know we can say Japanese. So that's why. Same here, but I've been speaking in like really so, thickly accented so Japanese. In, so you say in English? Oh, in she's English. one of those. Yeah, in English, she's like, oh, he's she's one of those. How just? What do you mean by that? The the the, uh, the, the smart type that can do all types of like intellectual stuff at the same time, just because they can. Or just because they're bored. It, so, like, it's kind of her person. thing. Yeah, that's just smart people. Yeah. Uh, as as she gets up, uh, uh, Shiomoda kind of stands up and says, "Like, well, ah, I got a date to get to tonight. I don't want to keep her waiting." Tada! I was like, "Yeah, you should probably be getting home." He's like, "I know." And he just kind of get. He somehow uh, he gets up with not without using his arms. He just kind of uses his legs and just gets up with. Almost no effort, just perfectly remote. Like, this man is the uncanny valley of heroes, right? <laughs> he just, he just does, I guess. Uh, he just plays like, see y'all tomorrow. And he just begins to walk off, and he's like, later. Is it sad that I kind of hope I don't? He's not going to score well on making civilians me. feel safe. Oh, and by the way, as if, any, if no one noticed before, as he's walking away, there's a perfect rendition of his face in Sharpie marker on the back of his head. What? Okay, so if he sees everything, <laughs> does that just mean he let that happen? I. Uh, Shiomoto just kind of chuckles, like, 
Yeah. <laughs> Ask a stupid question. That is going to do absolutely amazing and put us all to shame. He's either absolutely he's terrible or he's a god. You can be both. That is true. <laughs> An absolutely terrible god. <laughs> Zeus, is that you? <laughs> Zeus, is that you? Uh... Right. Horny, uh, horny everyone, goose noises. <laughs> with everyone dispersing as the tours are coming to the close, and you all, you all don't, you all meet a lot of people. Not as in depth as that short conversation you had with the trio, but definitely you know, meet and greet, blah blah blah. Get Long, called out by the tall dude who called us out in the thing, because of course we do. Uh, <laughs> no, you actually don't see that guy again. Good, he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you all return to your respective homes or pre-made shacks if you're an, if you're an Irish Momo, and you I get stuck prep. with the fucking sidecar again. Yep, and you <laughs> prep for the day tomorrow and what that may come. And I believe we can call that a session. All right, all right. Final decorations, everybody. Well, time, uh, to, try, time to try and fake not being a cyborg tomorrow. Oh, my <laughs> name is. Oh, go ahead. I'm gonna gonna spend. Going to spend the night of r running iterations on these on the sunlight manipulation. Are you a human or a computer? No, I you're am... going to spend the night sleeping. Yeah, actually, as as you want to get to work on that, it's like fuck, you're getting really fucking tired. Uh, <laughs> collapses like, in the middle like, of it's something. Like, it's uh, like you're that... trying to do some cell calculation stuff. It's like, yeah, what the fuck was that? I just snored. <laughs> uh, set seven different alarms for for tomorrow morning, just in case. Oh, <laughs> at at three a.m. exactly, your need for sleep is done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but are you conscious enough to start to pack up again? You mean you uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure immunities are sustained. No, uh, they, they default. No, they default to permanent. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking something. As as far as uh as far as the closing remarks is concerned, my name is Hayato Mugen Masa, and big things come in small packages. Just you wait. I am the true Hokage. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're one of the taller people here. Safey, you got something? I'm like five nine, bro. <laughs> I'm a little shorter than you. We've got at least two people who are like four foot something. Holy Six shit. two. I guess I'd I th probably just be in in the shack preparing by uh, working on an invention. Uh, as you as you're uh, winding down for tonight, there's a knock on your makeshift door. Ah, oh. I uh, I open the door. Villain with uh, a gun. It's saying no. Uh, there is a uh, person in a police uh, police uniform. As I like, excuse me, no miss. loitering. Is everything all right? I uh. I'm sorry. I I just I'm I'm here for the school. Oh, you're fine. It's just that we got a call about someone loitering around on campus after dark. But... I I don't have anywhere to, anywhere to stay. I just needed to be here until school. S say, um, so while the school does provide some board, they cost some money. Um, there. Are, few shelters in the city we can take it to if you really don't got a place. Uh, sure. Uh, can, can you make, you make the, yeah, say the cop just kind of motions to the entirety of the tiny house. Can you make this stuff disappear, or? Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. <sighs> the woman calls on the radio. Uh, yeah, we got some, uh, Debris that needs cleaned up. Uh, we're taking the perp back to one of the shelters. And she's like, takes it by the hand. <laughs> Cop mom. <laughs> the the best the best reoccurring character. She's just a normal cop. She her her quirk is something useless. <laughs> her, her quirk is called motherly. And <laughs> she just imposes the vibe. She has. No, you she instantly has... become connected as if she were your mother. Uh, I, I would say her quirk more specifically as long as you're 18 years of age or under she has an uncanny intuition and can tell when you're lying 100% of the okay that's perfect let's do this <laughs> 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 
time to Area. steer clear. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the one who has to hide the fact that he's a cyborg. <laughs> Whose enhanced physicality has nothing to do with his quirk. Alright, so, uh, that was a session zero slash one. All of it completely out of my ass, so I hope it was at least somewhat serviceable. Oh wait, alright, alright, recording, bye! I'm just, I'll just be bye. Bye.